Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to this very special stream this evening. Um, good, you're all behaving yourselves. This is, this is a good start. Um, we are playing some Dungeons and Dragons tonight. Uh, you, if you know my streams, you uh, already know who I am, of course, but I'm joined by three of my friends. Um, starting on the screen, starting from that side. Uh, Ali, who, who are you? Oh, I'm... <laughs> yeah, it's different for all of us on Discord. <laughs> He's down I'm there. The aforementioned Ali. Uh, I work as a science reporter uh, in audio and video. Uh, and I'm the DM, so I'm going to run the game. Um, and actually, for this one shot that we're doing, so we're going to try and tell the story all in one go tonight. Um, we, the four of us, we wanted to try something a bit different. We wanted to see if we could take D and D and all the amazing stuff that goes with it, and as science communicators, see if we can explain all that stuff in the D&D world with science. And we've said it in a sci-fi universe, obviously. But we're still <laughs> using fifth edition. That's the other thing. We are using what people will know as Dungeons and Dragons. The mechanics are all fifth edition. All of these books. Like all of the science. Oh, you get all the facts. Uh, and we are joined by below me on the stream, uh, Sharmini. Um, <gasps> Uh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where you are next to me. Sorry, <laughs> mates. Uh, and uh, who are you, Shamini? Yeah, I'm I'm Shamini. Um, I'm I'm very cool, obviously. So, what's what? No, um, uh, I am I'm a science uh, video journalist, um, filmmaker, um, and also sort of TTRPG and D and D obsessive, um, and perform in like everything that I can and. Um, uh, just play too many D&D games. Um, so this will hopefully so, yeah. be another regular slot for you, basically, if this goes that well. Would be, I mean, that would <laughs> be nice. her portfolio. I don't know how this science combo thing is going to go, because I've, I've had to actually like do some homework for this. And I'm like, what's... Mm -hmm. What is so this much, prep? Right. What is this work like? Disgusting so, yeah. is what it is. I'm excited um, to see how We're not real scientists, we're science communicators. It's not the same thing. At one so. point we were real scientists. <laughs> <Nailed it. laughs> Better. And then down there, for, oh no, shit. Down there for me is uh, Emily. Oh, um, ah, hopefully, okay. hopefully we will we will call you Emily for the stream and not no, the other said, name. Oh, Why are you I mean, that? We <laughs> just we said, we decided. We, decided no. we, we said we could call you. Emily Bates. My name is Emily Bates. Some people call me Emily. Some people call me Bates. It will be one or the other. Um, a bit about me. I've made like science documentaries for lots of places, and I was a reporter for BBC Click uh, for a couple of years. Um, and now, yeah, like Sharmini, I work. Well, not like Sharmini, different place. But uh, I work for a science ma magazine making videos, and uh, yeah, just a lot of D and D. But I'm not in any cool like online stuff. So this is my first one. Oh, no. Yeah, we've been, uh, perhaps we should probably say actually that we we have actually been playing a campaign uh, that Emily has been DMing for how many months so now? Good. For, yeah, uh, we started like months. summer last year, didn't we? So yeah, yeah it's been a it's yeah. been a while. Um, whereas this is a separate thing from that, and this is um, you know this is the first time we've tried to do D and D like this, so this should be interesting. Uh, in terms of how the stream is going to work, uh, we're going to play, and whilst we are playing, I'm going to close chat. We're not going to be interacting with people in chat during. Um, however, at the end of the stream, we are going to do a separate section called the D and D brief, where we're going to talk name. about the, uh, the sort of the science that came up during the one shot, uh, any kind of topics that it wasn't right to explore in the moment, maybe. Um, and then also during that time, we'll read out uh, any donations that come in and um, uh, read chat and interact with you guys then. But basically, we will be playing D and D normally. Uh, and if you if you do like this and you'd like to see more of it, then do let us know via donations or via chat um, and uh, any donations that we do receive are going to be split between all of us so it's not just me hogging all of the money um, so uh, with that have I missed anything? Oh the pronunciation yeah, like whether think, it's like, We haven't actually geeks. said our name you know? we haven't said <laughs> oh, like yeah. what we are which is controversial itself I am team Jeeks because it's RPG We are the RP Jeeks RP Jeeks I'm team RP Geeks. Let us know in the chat if you pronounce it <laughs> as RP Jeeks or RP Geeks. You guys say. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, with that, uh, it's actually about time that we got the game started. So mm. I'm going to close chat now. And oh, um, I'm so scared. it's time I'm to excited. find out where our adventure starts. <sighs> Here we go. It's far, far in the future. Earth is now ancient history. It's a myth. At some point, Humans abandoned our home and spread out higgledy-piggledy into the neighbouring star systems. And we discovered things out there. 
in the darkness. Creatures from strange planets, incredible resources, relics from long dead civilizations. We learned to modify ourselves genetically, cybernetically, so we could venture deeper into the galaxy, farther down the spaceways. Our story takes place on a ship bound for the very edge of Alliance space. On board are 2,833 prisoners and 901 prison guards. They're tasked with setting up a penal colony on a distant moon of Kalox 4 in the Sepidor star system. The ship has been traveling for years now. Most of its inhabitants locked in suspended animation until All right, I need all of you to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, what? 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 Great start! Sorry! <laughs> Seriously! Okay. That's fine. No, we're fine. Okay. I never joke, Simon. Oh, oh my god. Uh, right. I got a natural 20. <laughs> oh, I got a 6. Oh, this is not one Sorry, of my good stats. Less good. Uh, I got a 7. I can't believe that's true. Oh my gosh. Rian. First round of the game. Yeah. That's Bates. It's cold. You have a pounding headache. You're stiff. It's your bones. You prise your eyelids apart. And in front of you, you see a short, stocky woman. Crouched down. Bright green eyes, level with you. She's wearing the blue uniform of the prison guards, but it's ripped and it's covered in dark stains. She holds her finger up to her mouth. What do you do? Am I lying down? Am I standing up? What's the like position of my body? <laughs> you uh, feel underneath your armpits what feels like raw perception. Oh, oh no, that's not good. Oh, actually, it's not bad. No, it's good. 21. Oh, it's downhill this is from going... here. This is say, a... it is I was rolling ones before here. the stream, so this is this is the universe rewarding me. You feel under your arms a metal, like curved metal, and it actually reminds you of something that you've felt before. They're hooks, but not just any sort of hooks. hooks two hooks underneath your armpits, and as you look up, you can see, going off upwards above you, two uh, cables. You are being suspended from the roof by these hooks under your armpits, and you recognize them as meat hooks, the sort of hooks that you would normally hang uh, bits of carcasses of, of dead animals off. Mm. And you've been lowered down to the floor, so you're sort of hunched right. up, like crouched, with okay. these hooks underneath your armpits. Can I try and, like, unhook them and get them off? Yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not attached to you, you're just sort of hanging from them. Oh, I, but I'm on the floor, my feet are on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try and just like stand up and like look at her and be like... You stand up, your head is groggy, it, your temples you are pounding, and you're a little bit unsteady. She goes uh, again, shh, shh, you shh. Then, <laughs> uh, she points to the left of her and beckons you to come with her. Uh, what do I see, like, around? You're in a huge hangar. The air is filled with this dense, freezing mist. Mm. Roll another perception check. God, it didn't work as well this time. No, it didn't. Nine. It smells chemically, kind of like disinfectant, but mixed with something that you can't really place. And it's lit with these powerful, bright white lights hanging far above. And it gives it this kind of like ethereal feel to it. You can't see very far ahead of you. It's about oh. 30 feet in every direction. But what you can see, spreading out from where you are, at even intervals, are rows and rows of figures, <laughs> human figures, hanging just above the floor. And they're clothed in the same baggy neon jumpsuit that you're wearing, which glows okay. a kind of dirty neon yellow in the twilight. And they kind of sway oh. 
and drift gently as the ship jolts and rattles. Uh, are we are we here? Have we, have we arrived? Fine. She gestures you to come with her. She clearly is not happy with you speaking. And she looks behind her as if you speaking has uh, caused something terrible to her. Right. I'll take some very deep breaths and like try and calm myself down. Ah. <laughs> Wait, was that? Sorry, was that Emily Bates speaking? Oh. That was Emily Bates. <laughs> <laughs> that was both. That was um, yeah, Rianne will take some very deep breaths, but she will follow and be like, how would you like to go? Are you just going to walk or would you like to be uh, I, stealthy? I, or I will. <laughs> would you like to be stealthy? Um, I will I will copy the kind of stealth. If she's being stealthy, I'll attempt to stealth. She is definitely being stealthy. Okay, yeah. And then in which case I'll be like, I'll take her lead. And Okie doke. I've rolled um, it. And? I've got an eight. Right. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I've got yeah. good stealth, apparently, according oh. to my sheet, but I rolled a two. <laughs> you both step out along the floor, out into the mist, but the floor beneath you isn't solid. It's uh, a metal grating. So as you walk over it, you hear gung, gung, gung vibrating out into the darkness well into the into the fog and then you hear very far away a voice is that you gorgeous is that you there is is he talking to you (laughs) she looks over her shoulder and she starts moving faster and faster in a direction yeah, I'll go. Okay. Um, the clanging is still happening under your feet, clung, 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 but it's faster now. Um, and from behind you, echoing through the fog, you hear another set of footsteps. Clung, clung, clung. Don't you worry your pretty self about that. We'll find you. Oh, I know he's not talking to me because I will kick him. A... Mm, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, Simon. Mm. You have a pounding headache. Mm. Your eyes slowly <coughs> prise open, and you see this dense mist in front of you, these blinding white lights piercing through the mist, figures splaying out in front of you, and then someone uh, crouches down in front of you. She's short, stocky. She puts her finger to her lips. Shh, come at me. And behind her, you see... Emily, would you like to describe your character for us, please? Oh. Uh, yes, sorry. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, so Rianne is a very tall, very built uh, human woman. Uh, she's got short, dark, curly hair, dark eyes, a very strong jawline. She is covered in these tattoos that are like these like brilliant uh, blue and pink interlocking patterns. Um, and she's wearing the prison uh, garb, the, like, orange jumpsuit. I think that's pretty much it. She's probably doing some deep breaths and, like, trying to calm herself down. Simon, what does Rianne see? Rianne sees a prison guard in the standard uh, uniform that has sort of the, the green flak armour over the top of a uh, blue undershirt, a uh, handlebar, handsome moustache uh, on him, and a look of signature superiority with a tint of perhaps <laughs> drunkenness um, <laughs> and immaculate hair. And as I'm hanging from these meat hooks, um, Simon, what would you like to do? Oh, sorry, Edward. Edward, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, I'd like to extricate myself from the um, from the meat hooks, and I'm instinctively also going to crouch down. And be like, Wait, what? What are we doing? Like, like this? I have no idea. I'm just here, apparently. The woman crouched down, stops, 
Done. The, <laughs> puts, her, puts her hands up to your, both of your mouths and then stands perfectly still and listens. Coming closer, you hear thunk, 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 thunk. And it's not just one. There's two sets of footsteps you can hear. Um, she looks, the, the woman looks at both of you and says, come with me, quickly. And sets off at a run across the metal grating. Into the fog. I, I follow. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to follow as well. Sharmini. <laughs> you wake up. There's something very, very wrong. You can barely focus. The pain in your head is so severe. As you open your eyes, the first thing that strikes you is that the world is swaying ever so slightly backwards and forwards. A figure comes into your field of view, a short woman, stocky. She takes your hands and helps you out of the meat hooks. Do you I think, yeah, I think my, my instinct would probably just to be to try and try and fight her because I feel like she's, she's, she's kind of funny. Right, I'm going to take a swing. You're going you're gonna to take an attack? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to attack our new friend. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Our first catch of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, roll to hit. I rolled a sixteen to hit. Roll a sixteen. Okay, yeah. well that hits. And yeah. I, you are just woken up, so I assume you you so have nothing trouble. in your. Do you hand. want me to roll with disadvantage because I I am actually a bit oh. fucked? Uh, no, no, no. You can roll. Just. I'm only trying to make sure she doesn't hit the person. But you're rolling with. Uh, an unarmed attack, that's right? Yeah, and I'm okay, weak. Okay. Well, roll damage then. Uh, I, 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 it's, it's fixed damage. It's two damage, which I'm actually is actually not bad. Uh, that isn't bad. I no, would have expected. I would have also expected. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Um, she staggers back and falls over. <laughs> can, can I? Can um, I? Get out of this entangling chains. Yes, yes, you can. The chains rattle around, around you. You see these two imposing figures in front of you. What do they see? Um, okay, so um, Jet is a very sort of slight, very, very young looking um, girl, um, short black hair, um, but just something slightly um, inhuman, slightly pointy ears, a strange sort of sheen um, to her skin underneath the orange jumpsuit. You can you can um, sort of just about make out like like pale hairs sort of glinting, just the, the, the body hairs um, with black sclera of the eyes um, that again just sort of glint weirdly when they catch when they catch the light. Um, just looking sort of both dazed and uh, sort of confused and angry as you're looking up at edward and rian you hear a voice somewhere off behind you don't you worry my pretty now we'll take you to see the boss and you know you're going to love it i absolutely guarantee it the woman stands up grabs your arm jet looks at the other two and runs Belts it God. out into the fog. Shit. Uh, shall we? <laughs> I don't uh, have a choice. Just grab, grab I me. I'm, okay. I'm following as yeah. well. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Everybody's following? Okay. <laughs> the rattling of the ground underneath your feet of the metal slats. You're running past these bodies. <laughs> these bodies coming in and out of the mist. Just... Do you see these different shapes, these forms swinging from the ceiling? Underneath these lights, the shadows play over you. And behind you, you hear the voice, Don't run, my pretty, don't run, you'll make it worse. You come at last. A black shape looms out of the fog. You realize you've hit the wall of the ship, the outer wall. The woman turns around, looks at both of you, 
and pulls open a door, hidden inside the wall, and beckons all of you to come in. And you're right. Yeah. After you, the big sure. one. After you. Why do I have to go? For- Fine, I'll go in. You, Rianne, you squeeze your way in. It stinks in here. It's a tiny little cubby hole. It's dark. It's black. Are you guys all following? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. You squeeze yourself in. The woman pulls the door shut. Come. Silence. I need you all to roll stealth. Death saves. Okay. Fuck <laughs> 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 balls. Uh, non-natural 20. Um, sorry, what, what was the specific roll here? Stealth. Stealth. Uh, uh, 26. Whoop, whoop, rogue. Bloody hell. Uh, uh, I am the same. Minus 20. So, <laughs> As if by go. magic, <coughs> you disappear into the wall. You can't even hear yourself breathing. You can't even hear the blood in your ears. You are as one with the metal sheeting that surrounds this ship. You hear outside. Bang, bang. Hey, do you see where they went, eh? Yeah, well, you are the talkative type. At least point if you have get an idea, all right? All right, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to go and check over there. And when we've done that, we're going to check back there because I tell you what, I'm not going back to see the boss like this. You know, there's one thing that they ate. It's when, and the voices drift off into the darkness. You did know that Simon actually rolled an actual six on that, yeah? Yeah, well, we did. Uh, he was, yeah, no, I know. I've seen yeah. it balanced out. I just wanted to check that you had misheard that. Yeah. Jet's camouflage is great. Jet yeah. looks like made of metal. You feel your breathing come back to you. The woman rests her head in her hands. Breathes deeply. Then looks up at her. And you get a better look at her now. She squat, really squat. Uh, only about four or five feet tall. You can see that her uniform has been cut. She's clearly been in a fight. The when, blood... when you say uniform, sorry, is, is she a guard or uh, is she a prisoner? Yeah. Yes. Her uniform is the blue of, uh, yeah, the blue um, armored uniform of the prison guard. Um, and if you could all roll perception. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> 21. Uh, my dice like me today. Seven. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Simon. I'm saving um, up the good rolls. Okay. Um, we'll get to the Christmas stuff soon, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Rianne, you notice um, uh, where part of the uniform has been torn away, uh, uh, just beneath the shoulder uh, on her forearm, no, on her, um, next to her bicep, you see a, a tattoo huh. um, with glowing implants underneath it. And the tattoo is of a key with a snake wrapped around it. Um, roll, a, roll a history check. <laughs> Minus two. <laughs> I got a two on the dice, so that's a zero. Yeah, you don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got a tattoo. That's really cool. I've got tattoos too. Do you like them? Look, and here, and here. <laughs> Somehow you forgot some history. But... <laughs> there will be time for tattoos, but not now. All right. Okay. Sure. Wait. Wait a minute. Who are you? Yeah. What? What is happening? I apologize for having to take you away so suddenly, but something terrible has happened. I am. My name is Mincia. Uh, I am a guard, obviously. Um, and I have been tasked with looking after the prisoners during the voyage. Uh, something happened, and I don't understand how, but at some point, one of the guards, not one who is tasked with looking after the, the care of the prisoners, just a lower level guard, managed to wake up from the sleep and she 
she killed everyone. All of the flight crew, all of the carers, they're all dead. I am the only person who survived. She freed her friends. She, there is a group of them, a, a cabal. They've, they've changed the course of the ship. It, uh, and I think I know where it's going, and we have to stop it. We have to stop it. You are the only people I could wake, the only people whose cycles would permit it. You have to help me get access to the flight deck. Wait a sec. No, 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 no. Wait, we're not going to the we're not going to the penal colony anymore. Why are we going to This is help amazing you? news. This is no, uh, uh, no, for we're... my employment. No, this is great. This is great. We are we're out. We're free. Like they can't even come after us. It would it would imagine how long it would take them to come find us. They are taking us to Port Baigal. Is that bad? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So uh, all of you roll a history. <laughs> two. <laughs> a four. <laughs> Minus two. <laughs> oh, that's a five. <laughs> oh, wow. What, what, uh, Jet, what was yours? Eight. Uh, so, <laughs> it's strange it's because yeah. many of you feel as though you said it with such, uh, Clarity. She, yes. she was so oh. clear with it that she sort of, it seemed like she would assume that you would know what it was. But none of you have ever heard of this place. Um, I'm sorry, there have been no. whispers of bad places this far <laughs> out from the Alliance's space. But you've never really put much thought into any of that, you three. You're more kind of play it loose. Okay, if, just just for the sake of argument, explain like you would to say a five year old. <laughs> Um, how bad on a scale of one to last Jedi is that? <laughs> what? What is this? Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that is a thing from my planet. No, no, it's you. how bad are we talking? Yeah, and is it worse than, you know, prison? I mean, a penal colony is kind of different colony, to that. I, I was quite excited, so. The penal colony is not a prison. The penal colony is a chance for redemption and always should be viewed as such. Yeah. Port Baigal is the opposite. Port Baigal is the most scummy, low-life settlement anywhere near Alliance Space. It has the most famous slave market oh. that exists this side of Orion. Now, if you want to be taken out of potential freedom from your penal colony once you have obviously served your time and rehabilitated and sold instead to whatever awful creature wishes to buy you well i would say be my guest but you can't be my guest because you have to help me that sounds pretty bad prisoners don't you think we, we should uh, probably I, actually actually help oh yeah big I, surprise I, that you're agreeing with her yeah, we're on I the mean, same I, side i can't go to a slave thing they'll no not me Right, so how can we... We need to get to the, the command bars, you say? What, what was it? What was it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm quite The command thick. bar? The command bar? No, <laughs> you need to get to the flight deck. And more specifically, you need to get me to the flight deck. I will be able to change the course of the ship. And might I just say... And she turns to you, Jet, at this point, and looks at you disappointedly. Says... Well, perhaps you may not be afraid of this kind of fate. I ask you simply to think of the 3,000 something other people, many of whom do not deserve that, who will be condemned to it, should you do nothing. Uh, yeah, I mean, fine, you woke me up. I'm not gonna run off and say hi to those guys. Okay. So we are all in agreement. We all go and help. So we take what the third access elevator, something like that. I, is I assume it's that simple. So yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, find the stairs. It it is simple, okay. in a way. There is a door. There is one door. It is at the far end of the hangar. That is okay. how we have to get in. 
look, do you think we're going to have to um, <clears throat> fight anyone? I very much expect so. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, yeah, you, you, I'll just stand back and you guys can do that. But um, I'm going to need something to stab him with. You can stand behind. What, what were you in prison again for? This seems like I might be noticing what you were in prison for. You don't want to know. It was stabbing related. I bet you it was stabbing related. Do not give her a weapon. Trust me. Look, I can... I can fight, but you all have to stay away. What? What do you mean I will, stay away? I'll kill you. Well, that's not going to help. I can kill whoever you want me to kill, but if you stand in my way, I will kill you too. Well, I'll kill you back, so... Well, good. We can kill each other then, can't yeah, we? Yeah, well, Great. Let's I look forward fine. to it. Death well, pack. I'm thinking, um, uh, Mitsu, we just let them two do it, and then we walk in after we let the prisoners do all the hard work. How does that sound? I mean, no offense, guards have never been um, that good in my experience, so hey, we might be better off doing it. Some of the core is extremely efficient at our jobs. <laughs> yeah, all right. Not me, of course. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a more of a middle-level guy, but, you know, I trust the people. Oh, middle have. management. I know your type well. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Don't, don't ask me to do any fighting, please. Oh, obviously, I am well up for fighting, and I will definitely stab everyone, but you know, we could, I suppose, just sort of sneak instead. Just, like, really quietly. Sure. You know. So do you have more of a plan um, than just be very super sneaky and go <laughs> through the fog? No. no. What, what, what are your names? Oh, oh I'm Edward. Hi, Edward. I'm Rianne. Um, I've never really had a friend before, so can we... Are we are we friends now if we're doing this? Is that is that how this works? No. No, we have a death pact. I thought that would make us friends. No, you are, you are prisoners, and we are trying to fight to keep you right. in jail. Okay. Uh, no, well, I was... Um, the alternative is slavery. It's the lesser of two evils. I would... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd rather be in jail. There we I go. Guess. So we are not friends. But can I have a... You are okay. prisoners, and we no are guards. All right. Okay. As you say that, um, uh, uh, Edward, you see uh, Minsha just ever so slightly flick the side eye at you and then go back to looking at everybody. Just have you decided? You'll do it. I mean, yeah, we, we don't, don't really have a choice. choice, do we? Like, come on. Great. Come with me. I'll show you where the door is. No. And she walks out back on uh, to the grate uh, and moves out into the fog. Uh, are you following her? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Everybody, roll stealth. Oh God! Come on! Come on! Something above a seven. The <laughs> two again. Oh my God! <laughs> it's an eight. Um. What have I got? Oh, this okay. dice can roll a two or a twenty. That's a five. <laughs> Five, fifteen. Okay. That's not oh, good average. That's not good okay. average. We're doing so good. Following me, sir. You sidle along the metal sides of the room. The fog is dripping down off the sides of the walls. You smell the smell. This sort of strange chemically concoction. And in the distance, you start to hear voices as you get closer and closer towards where Minchia is leading you. I, well, you know, if you don't see them, you don't see them. And I don't really know exactly what we could have done any different. Look, if the boss finds out about that, you, my friend, will be the first person to hear about it. Look, don't, don't be like that, all right? It's not, it's not on me. This kind of conversation is going on, and it's a little bit in front of you. You can just, it, it's just coming out of the mist. But as you move following Mincha, it's getting louder and louder. And eventually, you reach a wall in front of you. Mincha crouches down, puts her finger to her lips and says, this is the wall. If you move along here, you will find the door. Now, there may be another way in somewhere around here, but if there is, I don't know where it is. Can we see anything that would indicate there's an, an extra entrance? Um, is this wall, 
are you sort of just casting around or are you sort of looking in the very in the area where you are um generally casting around okay rob said come on baby uh that's better um <laughs> a three that is a ten. <laughs> oh, oh don't awe oh, me i'm trying <laughs> so cute <laughs> You squint your eyes up at the light. It's difficult because the haze is diffusing the light. It makes it actually kind of very bright, something painful on the eyes. And you obviously have been drinking as well, as well as having been in uh, suspended animation. So you being able to even see is a bonus. As you're squinting your eyes up and looking around, you don't see anything which is obviously a door, or a passageway or anything like that. But one thing does catch your eye. The grates underneath your feet, they don't go onto solid metal. They're grates with holes in them and blackness underneath. Okay, can I uh, quietly try and remove one just to see what's underneath it? I'm assuming they're like stacked together. It's not like one cast that must iron. Be big, right? Like, no, I'll end it! <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've, you've done it. I want to see him try it's and lift up the metal grate. Sorry. I want to see the so bard do it. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you're, try, you're trying to do this quietly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you did say that, right? Yeah. That's, that's what he said. That's very much what he said. Then he said. Rolls, rolls I think, I, think I should be made to roll for deception in that case. <laughs> <laughs> first roll sleight of hand. Uh, oh, oh, nice. Fuck. Uh, 13. You're right. <laughs> you get a Classic grip on this. Road. It's really cold. It's so, it's almost, free. you'll feel your hands almost freezing to it. You have a moment where you think, oh, I wonder what happened if I licked it. I wonder what happened if I licked it. No, bad idea. It's happened to you right before. You, <gasps> you take hold of it, and as you're bending down to do it, a little necklace that you wear slips out of the top of your low button shirt Oof. and the metal necklace just oh, against the metal. Oh, you freeze. That's not Christopher. <laughs> but it seems like no one has heard it. Okay, so now what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to tear the metal grating? I just want up? to see. I want, I'm trying to work out if there is a a way to get underneath. I'm just sort of looking. I'm not actually trying to slide in at the moment. Oh, so you're looking through the grating? Yeah, like picking up and seeing what's underneath. You... Okay, there's two different things here, right? You can try. I said, I'm trying to peel it up and like and being like, oh. Then look. You can't got holes in it. Just put your eyes to it. Holes in it. No, it's lifting it up and then looking. Okay. Roll a straight. Hilarious. I'm going oh, with the wisdom of 10 here, okay? I've got better wisdom than you. Right. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Uh... Nothing. This, your mighty, mighty arm strength doesn't seem uh, to be shifting. Though. It's impossible. It's too heavy. Do you want a hand with that? No, no, it's too heavy. Um, there must okay, be I'll hammer. try and pick it up. What are you doing? Okay. I was trying to do it. Rianne, you reach down, roll a strength check. Uh, 19. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Yes, loudly. <laughs> uh, there's a escaping black hole in the floor just by where Rianne was standing. And from through the fog, you hear, Hey, Boiky, is that you there? Hey, do you know where Damien is? Is he around there, did you say? Hey, listen, son, let's go check that out, yeah? And footsteps dunk, 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 right. coming towards you. I think we need to hide, like, right now. Uh, we're, we're, we're the door, right? We're yeah, in the door. In the door. Can we, yeah, can we run towards <laughs> like, the door, yeah, gonna... like, that they've just left? Yeah, j that was that was quite a, a way back. You can. Wait, where's... Oh, wait. Sorry, I thought we'd arrived at the door we were going to go through. Oh, yeah. Sure, but you know, you've arrived at the wall. There is a wall. Oh, and a wall. Ah, right. You cannot see. Uh, the voices, that's where the voices are coming from, and that's where Minty says the door right. is. Has she gone? No, she's there. Oh, she's there. Okay, great. She's looking, looking at us like, what are you doing? confused. <laughs> he told me to do it. 
dung, 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 can I like do a pull up on one of the bars ho- on the oh! metal hooks and try and like ho- Shit, hold myself like cool. like a like a hanging body? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely can. Roll uh, an athletics. Yes, yes, this machine. Twenty four. Can you stop making my rolls look so bad? No. Like some sort of amazing Dutch gymnast. This is all I've got. Pull yourself up, Jeez. almost silent, on the nearby, and it's a small body. This one, it's only. Uh, this figure is only about, again, four to five feet tall, and they look quite slight and. and sorry, tender. sorry, and sorry. Obviously, they are completely stone cold. You know, they're like ice. Don't oh. respond to you, but it's kind that you said anyway. You pull yourself up, up the chains, and you hold yourself there. They rattle a little bit. What are the rest of you doing? Um. So Jet's gonna gonna go for um just among the bodies just among the rows i mean even as she sort of starts to run um and you might have noticed this if you're watching already um there's sort of like sort of flickering on her skin it look you know it, it looks almost like shadows or the sort of reflections of water um and it's kind of sort of like spotty and it, and it just seems to be sort of flickering um slightly different colors um and it's getting slightly darker um and grayer um, as she as she goes, and, and, and I'm going to try and um, sort of blend in with the with the shadows, and I have a I have a ability to to um, you know camouflage even if I'm not in sort of full cover. Ah, is this a special skirmisher? Yes, yeah. So it's a mask of the wild ability um, that I'm basically flavoring with with chromatophores. What, so, so what is it? That's so. Cool. Uh, like a cuddle and the, fish. The specific yeah. ability is it, it allows you to basically hide better when there's no clear cover. Is that right? Yes, which I don't think actually applies right now because presumably these bodies are pretty good cover. Like, well, it depends which one you chose, there. but um, okay. So, and I rolled uh, a twenty-four on stealth. <laughs> Come on, Simon, join us in the above twenty rolls. It's I'm great. trying. <laughs> you're, you're gone. With a flicker, your skin suddenly takes on the grey silken texture of the fog and you drift into the shadow behind one of these hanging bodies and Rianne you blink from your vantage point and you can no longer see her she's gone oh Edward oh my friend come on Edward you can, can I it, see Edward. what's at, what's at the bottom of the the hole do no, not it is, jump it is black guy, down there don't jump down there don't, don't jump down there <laughs> Do it, do it. <laughs> also, part of me is like, do it, uh, do it. Go on. See what uh, Ali does if you jump down the hole. Uh, uh, no, I'll run. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to run, but can I also? Um, I'm going to, as I am running. Uh, oh, um, I'm basically thinking about. Can I create a distraction? Um, oh, remember that? Yeah, yeah, come spell on. Spell I gave you. you have some, I swear about. you have some good spells for this. We, Wait, bards Simon. have spells? Magic, yes, yeah. yes, come on. Simon realised bards have spells ten minutes before the stream started. Nobody told me. Um, <laughs> right. You've played D&D for so one year. Year. I've never I played a magic did. user I before. Uh, I think uh, I am... Uh, I have to justify it, don't I? Um, yeah, you have to be able to explain it scientifically. Otherwise, how could it possibly happen? Oh, well. be fine. Holograms. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to... Fuck. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing, Simon? Dung, dung, dung. I'm going to sing down the length of the hall and sort of <laughs> basically echo it off of the, you know, the far, uh, the far wall, so that it look, it sounds like there is somebody over there casting, Ooh. casting major image. <laughs> Straight out the gate. What? It, what? Te- what? It, describe what happens. Um, as in what I'm. Well, basically, yeah, I am running cool. away. <laughs> what are you I, doing? <laughs> I am running away from the sound of the. Um, it's it's almost like you know when like you're running and shooting behind you. That's what I'm doing, but running and singing. <laughs> and 
and trying to and, and like you know creating this this effect of there being somebody over there like if you're in certain acoustics you can get sound waves bouncing yeah. off and echoing around sub bits of the building so and what kind of what kind of image are you creating um Audio one? Yeah, an audio image. Major can do both though, can't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Audio Major's audio. brilliant. Like. Yeah, I think it, I think it would just be the audio of um, somebody, you know, saying, "Wait, no, not me! No, please, I am." <laughs> please. So it's someone with your accent. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, they don't know what I sound like yet. <laughs> it's the space French. <laughs> space French. Okay. They're on every spaceship. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and at the same time, you're legging it the other way. I'm legging it the other way to try and find cover, like, um, uh, like... Right, okay. Um, so, you... <laughs> your brain freezes up as you realise that everyone's disappeared. Even Mincha seems to have completely... Oh, no, she's, she's just... Um, you gird your lines, you think, right, okay, it's time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> Join air into the diaphragm, out of the diaphragm, a couple of calming breaths. Yeah. From just behind one of the bodies in the distance, you start to see the silhouette of two people coming towards you. And with that, you take off, legging it down. Whilst the... singing over my shoulder. Whilst, yes. Bye. Over your shoulder. And do you, do you have something specific that you sing? Um, almost heaven, West Virginia. <laughs> The Ridge Mountains! Shenandoah River! As I'm retreating into the distance. Which obviously sounds to the casual ear like, No, please don't! That's the magic, no, That's the magic of acoustics. Um, you disappear into the fog. From behind you, you hear this voice. No, please! I, I don't want any trouble! That's not why I'm here! I'm just here to... Uh, I need to sell, I need my, to sell my onions! <laughs> uh, and, and then you hear, "I, we got him! We got the little French bastard!" <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and the sound of footsteps running towards where your image was. Amazing. So you are now a bit further down. You're in the mist. Um, can you roll a stealth check for me now? <laughs> can I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Hang on, I got a... Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> a 21! <laughs> I made the 20 hey, club! Hey, well welcome! Welcome! I'm so proud of you. You press yourself against the wall, you hold your breath. The, through your mind goes, what the you yeah. <laughs> do? Complete silence. <clears throat> Rian, from your vantage point next to where you were, you see two figures. Um... One of them uh, has his uh, is completely bald, but instead of hair, he has little horns growing out of the top of his head. He's leading. Behind him is a tall, slim individual. And you look closer. Roll a perception check. Oh no, my perception is better. Thanks. Keep thinking. I rolled a two again. Six. Something I'm done with this dice. I'm just put it over there. Something seems off. You can't quite tell what it is. But the way he moves, the way they move across, it's almost soundless. They move with grace across the metal slats. And you watch as they walk past the hole in the floor and off towards the corner where the voice came from. They disappear. All right. Are they gone? Do I think one they're minute. gone? Oh, I'm not waiting a minute. Are you holding Let's like go. a limit? Yeah, I'll jump down. I'll I'm jump down. Waiting a minute. Yeah. Like as soon as they go and start going in the Once other direction, we'll move. Down. Three point yeah. Okay. Right, onto the mech. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Wait. Uh, what? Hold on a second now. Is it... <laughs> Back up. <laughs> 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 okay, oh, no. Straight through athletic. Atlas. Twenty four again. Day, <laughs> and see. Straight up again, and that's that. Now it's even more impressive. You're holding the chains, and you're actually sort of vertically up, like a sort of yeah. uh, torpedo, waiting to fall Great. face down. Oh right, yeah, cool. Tang, 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 yeah. Tang, 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 tang. 
I tell you what, mate, somebody's playing silly buggers around there. I don't know what the cuck is going on, but this, for me, uh, you know, I, I quit. I'm not going to have, I, you know, is this, is this Buddha? Is that, is this, she, is she doing this? And off they, they go back towards okay. where they came from. Okay. Right. What are you all doing? Going back towards the direction we're supposed to be going in, because there's a door there somewhere. Yeah. I the think, flight deck. I I'm going to lower myself down carefully, like oh, on the parallel there? bars. No, not parallel. Okay. The, 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 the circle. Rings. The rings. So with, <laughs> with your athletics check, no problem. You lower yourself down. <laughs> I admit that was bad. Under, really. uh, going on as a grating will not work. Good idea. Right, what yes. we could do is bring them back and push them in the hole. At which point, Minsha pops her head out from behind one of the, uh, the swinging bodies next to you and says, there are more than just two of them. All right. Oh, I can't okay. believe of all the people I had to unfreeze. Look, there are a number of them. I don't think, unless you have something very clever up your sleeve, which on the face of it doesn't look very likely, you're going to be able to either overpower them or outsmart them by the looks of things. I mean, overpower maybe, but fine. I Fine. Okay, fine. Let's find this door then. That's more fun. I'll try I, to find a door. She... Minsha puts her arm on your shoulder and says, wait. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we don't have long. We really don't have long now. I don't know what complicated plan you might have come up with if you've gone to the door already, but now I think there's only one option. We have to go down. Down where? What? I thought we were going to go to the flight deck. If we want to make the flight deck, I think there might be a way in. When we... When we commandeered this ship, it wasn't always a cold storage for humans. It used to be a cold storage for meat. It was a... It was a food processing factory. We did it. There wasn't much money. Anyway... <laughs> these gratings are for the runoff. Underneath, there is a space, some sort oh. of sewerage drainage. Now, I think that there will be a way to get from here into the flight deck without having to go through the main door. I didn't think we could get in, but now that you've shown me we can. Wait, okay, two questions. One, did you clean the runoff <laughs> chamber? Yeah, that's a good question, because gross. And two, why would the runoff chamber go into the flight deck? Surely it would go to, I don't know, the waste disposal. Like, space. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, pilots out here on the edge, they often like to build in uh, escape hatches for themselves, little ways of smuggling their way through the ship without necessarily using the main doors. Now, if I was a pilot on this ship, I would have made sure that there was a door from these drains into the main flight deck. Can I roll? Um, Sounds. I want to see if she's actually if, if they're actually telling the yeah. truth. Okay, roll an. In Suddenly, very bullshit. Yeah, I now I want like, to push her down. Oh. <laughs> if uh, I was a pilot, that's what I. That's would what done. I would do. Insight. That's a seventeen. Yay! Yeah, um, do You're doing so good. <laughs> You get the feeling she's grasping. She's not trying to trick you, you don't think, but it's, it's, yeah. It's desperate. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. How come you are so torn up? What happened? Did you get into a fight with these people? I don't think you said. Uh, I, when they came to the flight deck, that's where I was, but I was hidden at the time. I was asleep. They started killing my friends, everyone. I ran. They saw me go, and I got hit in the way by this woman. She's just pray that we don't meet her on the way. Right. Well, that works for me. Should we go into the blood runoff pit? I mean, um, yeah, if our guide and leader and, you know, saviour thinks it's a good idea, sure. 
Great. Yeah. I volunteered after you checked. I went first last time. Can I see um, how far uh, the, the, fall, the fall would be? Um, and this is the point in the D&D game where I go, I have dark vision! Uh, <laughs> where you go, what? I have dark vision! Oh. <laughs> so you have to say when you have dark vision, you have to no. say, I have dark vision! Oh. It's very, very important. important. Um, I have, I have, an, you know, a lot of, a lot of rod cells going on. <laughs> oh, so you're, you're, you're biologically. <laughs> I'm, biologically. I'm biologically. Have, uh, yeah, excellent night vision. Are your eyes actually uh, okay. bigger than anyone else's? Are you like an eye eye? You turn mm. around. Eye eye. Like, <laughs> it's creepy. No. Like a lemur. Yeah. I, no, I they do that thing lemur. that. They do that cat's eye glint thing where they catch the light and suddenly you like see them glint. Oh, so it's like your your retinas are more reflective. Uh, they do that yeah. internal reflection thing. Yeah, yeah that's so clever. It goes through the cells twice and has uh, picking up that. So Sorry. you stick your head down into the hole. Such bad you concentrate. <laughs> you can see down here. It's mm. dark. It's all. It's would be pitch black to anyone else's eyes. Mm. It stinks. Mm. Of Blood, awful. And there's this rank sort of musk flowing through it. You can see a floor, and it looks pretty horrible. It's kind of slick looking, a little bit shiny, uneven. You can't really make out what it is, hmm. but it's not too far away. It's maybe four or five feet down. Oh, okay. Um, I would like to, um, uh, like basically lower myself off the edge, swing down, hang from the grating, just like hook my fingers through it, and then just drop the last little bit. It's liquid. There's about six inches of liquid down here. Slippery underfoot. As you lift your foot, try to get your balance. Squelchy. Are you alive? Yeah. Do you wish you were alive? <laughs> just, just get down here and let's get going. She doesn't wish she was alive. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, are you guys following her? Yeah. Yep. I'll give, give quietly a hand if I can to try and like. If it's four or five feet down, I mean, she's just basically. It's, it's about the quietness. It's about the quietness. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Remember that thing? Wait. Why does that one? No, not like that. Um, <laughs> well, let's roll stealth, but yeah, for okay. everything that happens from now on. So we'll okay. this will be the one stealth run. Oh no! Oh, come on, baby. Okay, come on then. Yes. 24. I feel like I'm on 24 a lot. 14. 16. How am I the worst roll? It'll do. Okay. Oh, that was a good roll. Okay. We did all right. The soft, swelching, fucking. You move oh. into the space. <laughs> and now. Presuming, sorry, just a quick question. Can we not see anything? Are we entirely reliant on jet Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Going? Yeah. What are you doing down here? Mincha uh, pipes up and says, I can take us in the direction of the, the door. It's very simple, really. We just reach out until you get to the wall and then move along the wall. I will do that. I'll try and find a wall. Okay. Uh, is... Let's go in a, let's just walk in a, in a line. Can we walk single file? Otherwise, you're just going to wander off and... Let's why do, all why don't we all together. put a hand right, on yeah. each other's shoulders and yeah, Jet, you go in front. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I will reach out and try and find a shoulder. The dripping Probably. of the vapor can then <laughs> grab Brian's hand and just put it on my shoulder. <laughs> you can smell this horrible musk, this odor of rotting flesh. You can, there's little pinpricks of cold as the, the vapor, which is condensing on the metal uh, grids above you dripping down onto your face, onto your arms. Oh. You move slowly through. And as you do, the voices from above your head 
start to get louder. And you hear them talking back and forth. They're kind of conversing about things. You hear a slightly deeper voice on, kind of gruff, a bit like that. They're all talking roughly the same accent. And you gather that these are the guards. These are the uh, these are the the yeah, bench guards who broke free, and they seem to be all kind of clustered around one area above you. Um, before we before we get sort of too close to them, can I whisper to Rian, who's just behind me, um, like ideally such such that um, like Edward and Misha can't necessarily hear, but um, I'll just say. Um, uh, I'll say, I'm, I'm Jet, by the way. I was just oh. thinking, if we decide not to kill each other, maybe we could look out for each other instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that, that'd be nice. Shh. I'm, 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 I'm Rian. Rian. I can, you know, you said, I didn't I'm, say, you said, I've never fine. really had a friend before, so I don't That's know. That's uh, not necessarily what I said, but okay. Okay, great. Okay. okay. Cool. Rian, as you're concentrating really hard, <laughs> so happy. Your happiness causes you to forget momentarily what you're doing, and Mincha mm. boom, runs into the back Ow. of you. Ow! Will you just keep going? For God's you... sake, we're Shh. over there! Shh. Stop shushing so loud! You shush me first! Do you know first. how loud your shushing is? Do you know how loud your not telling me not to shush is? Shh! Shh! Just, just keep As it going. I'm keeping going. On. I'm doing this. <laughs> you're bickering, muttering to each other. Uh. Who's who is in front? Yeah. Okay, Jet. Uh, I have dark vision. You do have dark vision. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. You die first. You yeah, see what's going to kill us. <laughs> so it goes sometimes. You don't see anything. <laughs> but you do hear something. It, it's quiet to start with. And it's kind of like breathing. No, Ali. <laughs> no. I see what you're doing. Look at what you're doing, Ali, and stop it. <laughs> Is it coming from directly ahead of us? It's coming from somewhere in front of you, yes. I'm gonna... S- I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna... I'm gonna tap Ryan on the finger. And say, bestie. Do you hear that? Um, do I hear that? I'll listen. Uh, roll, roll perception. Six. No, you you can't hear anything. All you can. Oh, I hear is the sound of our friendship. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Sorry. We'll get BFF T-shirts after this is all done. <laughs> you, you, like, we have no, yeah, there's like there's literally nothing else. Yeah. We can do. not yeah. can't like not going back. Okay, committed to this path. It's probably uh, some a ventilation system gone wrong. Okay, it's, it's just the fence. The fence. Oh. Uh, Jet. Um, I can see sixty feet ahead of. I can't see beyond that. Only vague grey. Make a strength. Oh well, moment. that's not. A, no, I don't like that. I, if I'm holding that's her, if I'm holding her shoulder, does she get advantage? Because <laughs> I could like pull no, her if she's being pulled can, away. No, because you Stay don't know. strong. <laughs> I, I am. I am right. Jet is this scrawny, thin. Like, I just rolled a natural twenty. Yeah. Somehow. Somehow. My genetically superior uh, body oh, oh, has managed oh. to. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, That's a hint of all. Uh... <laughs> not in a in a in a not in a like a white supremacy kind of way. <laughs> Best friend status may be being revoked. <laughs> um as you, you put your foot down on the floor and you've been used to stepping through this kind of horrible gunk. It's sort of a mixture of like, you know, blood, a bit of intestines in there. So you're sort of used to it. As you put your foot down, it's kind of like you're trying to lift it out of mud, right? Really thick mud. And the mud's kind of trying to hold on to your foot. Oh, no. But it it's not so strong that you can't pull yourself out of it. Pull backwards pull. into rear. Ah. You pull Hug. your foot out. <laughs> and as you do, you hear a new noise. 
How close is it? It's close. How close are um, we to the guards at this point? Are we like kind of directly under them? You are right next to the door. That's as oh, far as you've got the door. We found something. Very we you're found very, very, You're very close to the door, but the door the is above you. Above. The main door. Okay. And um, <coughs> above you, there are guards. Um, unfortunately, this has happened before you've had time to... <laughs> To really work out what's going on, but I will, I will say before we get to this little bit, you would have noticed them beforehand. So let's just roll perception, see what you see, so you know what's going on up there, or maybe you don't. You know. <laughs> see what no, you see. Probably yes. not. See, okay. what see. see what you see. I rolled well. Yeah, Twenty-three. Nineteen. Surprise! Surprise! surprise. I, got, <laughs> um, I got an, I got a, an eight. For those of you watching at home, that was a seven plus one. Yay! Um, I'm so proud of you. You. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Edward, you are concentrated very, very hard on trying to work out the remnants of the lyrics of that song, which you were projecting <laughs> over in the corner, and you just, <laughs> just not coming. Oh, Rianne and Jet, you, <laughs> you look up and you see three figures, two normal-sized humanoids, and one much larger, sort of eight feet, nine feet tall, it looks like, and um, she uh, that has long, flowing black hair and what looks like a sort of robotic skeleton attached to her that's building her up. It's almost like she's wearing some sort of suit, some sort of cyborg mechanized suit. Um, and the, the person inside of that is muscular already and you can see that the people around her they give her a little bit of space i've said her enough times it's a woman um they give her just just a little space and they're kind of floating around her and she is standing right in front of this door right. so that's that's what you see on your way in but <clears throat> okay let's deal with that later because now yes, let's. something else is happening you've heard a noise jet so yeah. Yeah, as as I've stopped to like come back, like I crashed back into them and essentially stopped the whole train behind me. I'm gonna whisper like, "There's something here." Besides the blood. <laughs> and now all of you can hear it. <laughs> I need all of you. Oh. Want to, to move jet behind a me? Wisdom saving throw. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, good. Is, my favorite is there stat. any chance? Oh, oh is there any for me? Is there any chance that this is against a charm effect or a sleep effect? Fifteen. Uh, I got a fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. Okay, that's fair. That's I got fair. a seven. Bye, everybody. You got a 14. Four, okay. Oh, all of you. I'm Rianne. I got you. With I got you. the exception of Rianne. Fuck. You smell this funny smell in the air and you hear these noises and they're sort of echoing around. You're finding it difficult to work out what's going on, but you concentrate hard. You remember where you are, what you're doing. You are unaffected. Rianne, I need you to roll a D8 for me, please. Oh, I love it. Ooh, I, don't. I don't know what I'm looking yeah. at my sheet for. That's not going to help me. I got a two. Is that good? Is that That's maybe good. Low seems good. Less death. As you hear these voices, these noises, you take a deep inhalation. And around you, suddenly things don't quite make sense anymore. It's a little bit disjointed. You don't quite know what's happening. And there's voices. And now, as well as the... You hear the voices of your companions. Oh. Strange. Oh. Coming from around you. And you don't really know what to do. You know something's not right. Uh. But you also know that to act now would be dangerous. So you 
do nothing. And at this point, I think we're all going to need to roll initiative. Oh, are we though? I, I don't know. Are we? Don't have a weapon. I don't have a fucking weapon. Fuck. Well, don't worry. Ah. I was thinking of where I could look. Well, I rolled one, but... really fucking well. I got a, six. I got a twenty-two. <laughs> Maybe the guards would have had some. Oh. Okay, They're not going to so get that's... to go. <laughs> Maybe I should have. I get it. Oh, um. Right. So that's. Uh, uh, Edward, so I think, six. like, on my turn. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah six Rianne, you got twenty. Twenty something. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, Jet. A thirteen. Okay. Um. Minsha got a. What did you get, Minsha? Is that spelled like yeah. Nietzsche, but with an M? Yeah, I've written Nietzsche. It's got all Nietzsche. sorts of letters in it. <laughs> so um, it's like that's... Nietzsche, but with an M. Cool. Nietzsche with an M. Nietzsche. <laughs> uh, Nietzsche. Right. Did you get a seven yet, right? Uh, I got a 14. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. That's, that's what I wanted to hear. Um, okay. Great. So... Uh, what jet in front of you? No, yes, Rian, you. Your I just saw reflexes of... kick in, but <sighs> you don't know what to do. Just sort of feel like maybe Best you friend? should sit this one out. Best friend, are you okay? You okay? I'm just gonna jet. Say it out loud. Do I hear that? Yeah. Can I talk, um, or is it just a nothing? No, no. You're just. Okay. Fine. You can hear all sorts of voices coming from around you. Um, Jet, in yeah. front of you, you see, with your dark vision, the floor starts to bulge, and you hear the noise. <laughs> and you see teeth, teeth and lips. You see the flesh, the eyes, a little bit of the hide of what looks like a cow. The face <laughs> of a Sorry, cow. Sorry, I was not expecting that. <laughs> it, was it just suddenly makes a horrible sense. No. Oh, Jesus. That's it what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a everyone should be vegan stream. Oh, <laughs> no. It's like Jaws, but there's like a cow, a cow snout just coming through the blood. <laughs> And it pulls slowly, <laughs> lifts its way up uh, out of the goop. It's a sort of amorphous blob with these teeth. It's occasionally an eye, like one of those big doe cow eyes with the long eyelashes. But there's no form to it. Hundreds and hundreds of these mouths, these bits of faces, all attached to this sort of amoeboid kind of gunk that starts to swirl and move. What do you do? Is, right. Is the is above us still grill with holes in? Yes. Can the others, now that we're below the room, see the light coming through the grill? Oh, yeah. uh, sorry, hang on. Can they can they see can they what's see... happening because of the light? Yeah, mm -hmm. is there light coming down through the floor? There's oh. not enough light to see by unless you have dark vision. But if we were to light a light, the light would go up and alert the people above to our presence. Um, and you said the cow has teeth. I mean, like cat cow teeth, right? Molars for for grinding grass. Molars for grinding grass. Um, no big, sharp, pointy teeth. Multiple so. stomachs to digest you, though. Oh, great, yeah. Good. Okay, they... We are really screwed, because none of the others can see it, and if we make any noise or make light so they can see it, the people above will notice. So what I'm going to do... Um, I don't know Rianne's out of it, do I? As far as I know, she's just holding onto my shoulder. Uh, I don't know what you know. Can... I mean, has has Rianne moved, jerked, said anything yeah. to to indicate? Nope, she's just stopped. Yeah. Okay, so I don't I don't know. Um, is the is the door outlined at all? 
like could, can we can, could they see the door at least could they see where they're going if, if they can't see anything else or no uh you mean the the door above them oh god it's above us sorry yeah everything yeah. above you you can see yeah. you, you cannot see past this shape unless it's directly you want above to... us right so the door is is very close it's almost directly above you um you could you could look you could try and search for something there might be something past this thing whatever it is there might be something mm. next to it but mm. you would need to look for it what do you mean there might be something like the rest well, of the in, room as in you're you're asking if there's a door i'm telling you you can see the no, door. yeah sorry i meant that one i meant that one but if um, you wanted to look for something else down here you could do that and the door above us is leads directly into that room with the scary people in that's what Mincha has said, yes. Um, no, sorry, sorry, wait. The door above you is guarded yeah. by the scary people, but that's, yeah. you want to get into that door. But that's yeah. where we're going, right? Okay, I'm just going to very quick, quickly confirm. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn around, uh, take, <laughs> just sort of lift Rianne's hand off my shoulder and, oh. and drop it. Um, and right. say... Uh, you want to go up there now? Can to, I to, respond? So well, to Minch, to Mincha mainly, but um, to everyone. Oh, right, so you're talking to Mincha. Yeah, or to to the group. Okay, Mincha. If I can do this Oops. on my turn. Yeah, yeah. So on your turn, you can you can ask that. Uh, so this is your action. I will. Yeah, I will spend my action. Yeah, finding out what 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 whether they want to go up there now because I I kind of want to say I kind of want to be like. I kind of want to tell tell the rest of them to go up there because that seems to be the plan. So they might as well go now. Um, but I just want to check in that that is what they're going to do. Okay, so you you ask that, um, Rian. You get nothing, nothing from her. Mincha, she says, she clutches her hand and says, I, I, "I don't know what's happening here." Yes, if we can get to the, if we can get into the door, if you can open that door, I can shut it from the other side. We can lock ourselves in. If if it will be a risk. We can lock ourselves in. You mean lock ourselves up there with the scary people? I don't people. understand. I don't if understand what's if happening. we can get through the door, I can yeah. lock it from the other side. Why would that help? The scary people are on the outside. Yeah. I'm really confused about where the scary people are and where the door is and where there we are. are. Scary, scary people, people guarding the door. Door barricade oh, here on our <laughs> side. Yeah. Just the scary people are on our side guarding the door. Oh, you have to really? Get the door. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were above us. In yeah, on the, yeah, on the... yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're beneath. Yeah. Remember how before we were there's a door how, up here. How great the there are people outside the door, and we want to go through the door. <laughs> oh, do we? And so we want to go up and through. Is there a hatch in the floor? You. That was what the lifting of the grate up was. You are currently underneath the people who are guarding the door. But how do we get through this, the floor? Is there a hatch? Is there a hole? Who lifted the grate? She said. I did. Last time, Rian. We've come all the way back there. Wait, what? Last time, Rian lifted yeah. up the piece of grating and you <laughs> yeah. all went under it. Yeah. So now you're under the floorboards, right? Then you moved right. to. Wait. The, the point being, we can't go straight into the room. No. Well, we uh, you might be able to. We might be able to. We don't know. There there's a, door, a monster you in haven't the way. have seen a door yet. Sorry, I, I fully understand now. <laughs> um. Okay. Is. Okay, right. New plan. Is that... this six seconds? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> is this thing... <laughs> wide just... enough. But you've had your action. You've asked this. I, yeah, I've got my question. movement. I've, I've got my movement. Yeah. Basically, movement. I want to use my movement. So my my plan is to use my movement to draw dead cow away from my friends. The reason I want to know where they're going. What, whatever your plan is, just do yeah. it. Just do it now. Um. I will. Is it is this wide enough that if I went to one side, they would be able to get round? Is my question. Sorry. Yeah. This. So this thing it goes all the way it's under the big... whole. Yeah. So it's, it's huge. Huge. Yeah. Right. Okay. But... In that case, um, I am going to run to the uh, left of it, um, and I'm going to I'm going to run very very close to it, like really close to it, um, but then. Um, bonus action disengage and kind of basically go close enough to it to get its attention and draw off to the left, which doesn't help because none of the rest of them can see. Ah! But that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm so you run it. straight to the left of it. Yeah. Uh, I'll say for a... So bonus action disengaging. Um, 
as you run, you hear the noise starting to grow. You may have jacked yeah. his attention. You don't know. Yeah. Um, Never mind. Sorry about that. Minsha, you see... Uh, Jet, you see Minsha immediately press herself against the wall and start moving along it, feeling along the wall with her hands. Um, so you see her moving along that side wall, feeling along with her hands. Um, Edouard, what are you going to do? I'm going to, like, pat myself down and then find the stun baton that the guards have. Uh-huh. And like, ah! Uh, and I'm just going to start waving it around in the vague direction of the sound. Brilliant. I can't see anything. I'm just like, I, I've got a weapon. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So, so. What could possibly go uh, wrong? <laughs> so you, you wave this around. Um, make a, an attack roll, a disadvantage. Attack roll with disadvantage. Uh, so. Is it ranged, the stun? Yeah, is it like a taser? Uh, no, it's just... It functions as a mace. Oh. I think I get plus four? I'm not actually sure. Sound like very much. Sounds plausible. You're a bard, though. I'm a bard. So. I think it's yeah, plus four. That sounds, that sounds good. Uh, 16. 16. With that... Dang! 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 You are making firm contact with the floor, by the sounds of things. I've got dang! it, guys! Oh, no. Um... Mm. Now, do you want to do anything with your bonus action? Uh, oh, I do have a fun bonus action. I, um... <laughs> yeah, you do. What did we, oh what did we talk wait, about, no, Simon? No, wait. <laughs> we, well, okay, we were going to be quiet, but he has just climbed the floor, so... Yeah, he climbed the floor. He's singing... You haven't got any light, have you, Simon? Classic We didn't give you light as one of your spells, did we? No, it's <laughs> well, not a bonus action it. anyway, yeah. Uh, I mean, so I could inspire one of you. I could sing whilst I... <laughs> Stay here. Clang, like stomp. Well, they didn't say. Um, but... <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Edward? Um. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like hum whilst I do this in such a way that uh, Jet gets really inspired. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> yeah. What am I grooving to? Clang. <laughs> Clang. <laughs> Jet's like, There's yeah, something... it's my jam. So loud, oh my god. There's something deeply rhythmical about it that really kind of cuts to the core of you, Rian. You think, is it, is it, wait, is it Rian or Jet? Jet. 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 And you think, it just summons you back to your child and you think, yeah, you know, maybe we can do this. Just for a second. Take your D, what, what D Uh, dice is it? D6. 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 Level five. That is worth having. Level five, guys. Yeah, it is. Okay, now it is. The creature's turn. Come on, giant cow. Come the on. I practically trod on you. Will. <laughs> and it will move in a random direction. Oh. Okay. Um, towards Rian. Fuck. You feel. I say that. Not impressed with one this cow. Around your foot. Mm-hmm. You have start to get the feeling of chewing, like it's being crushed through some sort of kind of crap blender that's been used too much. Um, now, ow, hold up. Oh uh, dear, that is a 19 to hit. That hits. Mm-hmm. Ooh. All right, let's have a look at that. <laughs> Insta death. <laughs> it's Ali. I don't. It's I don't got anything past. One little, one little cow teeth. Uh, yeah, tiny little molars. That you take eighteen points of damage. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. As this, <laughs> this sort of <laughs> hole starts. <laughs> pulling its way up your leg with its teeth. Um, can you roll a strength check as well? Yeah. yeah. Trek, check or save? Uh, saving throw, sorry. Great. Uh, yeah, it's 26. Yeah, so you feel it try and pull you down, but you stand tall uh, and shake it off. Uh, and then 
you hear a noise. And um, there's something covers your face. And you, Jet. Oh. And you, Edward. Oh. Um, oh, no. Make all make I don't dexterity. Like this. Oh, dex. Yes. Yes. Uh, advantage on dex. Oh, I can do this. Effects that you can see, which I can't see anything. Um, oh, no. Throw, yeah? oh, man. Yeah, Nine. Throw. Fifteen. Oh, God, that was so close to that one. Where are my twenties now? Where are you? Yeah. So, uh, Rianne. Yeah. That was a nine? Yeah. You feel a blinding pain, pins and needles stabbing in your eyes. And whatever, <laughs> you look up and where you could see what was going on above you, now you see nothing. You are blinded. Doesn't cool. make that that's much fine. difference. That's fine. Point, I was basically blind really, anyway. Yeah, that, like it's not. Care. In this situation. All it's done is piss cool. me off. So Hearing this noise. Voices from above. Oh, yeah. Now, what the hell is going on on there? Is it that or oh, that creature again? You know what? I cannot, I cannot stand that cock. I tell you what, right? If that thing, Stephen, starts up, it's because you've been bloody feeding it, man. <laughs> that noise begins. Okay. Now, Rianne, yes. right. you've been woken up by uh, the uh, by this sort of. Up your leg. Now, I need everybody, since we're everybody, to make another wisdom saving. Again? Oh no. Another one? No, I got seven again. I'm out. Am I out again? Uh, nine. Natural two. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> you the dumbest of all the people you could have revived. I'm so <laughs> strong. <laughs> I'm so strong. We'll finish okay. up everyone. We're going to get you so, from the cow and that's... We're all, all dead. Of you <laughs> roll a D8. All of you roll a D8. Oh, yeah, that's true, because I rolled a two. Don't get a two. Well, we don't know. The other options could be worse. Seven. Yeah. I've gone five. the other way. That's I probably also worse. roll a five. <laughs> seven. Seven for me. Okay, so... Seven, seven is good. Rianne, we come to you first. Yeah. Seven. Seven is great. Again... Your mind clouds, confused. You hear (laughs) coming from behind you, right behind you. You turn and lash out. No. Yes. 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 Just unarmed attack. I mean, sure. What? Yeah. So you just as you are, just lash. I'm not raging or anything like. Yeah. No. Not raging, and it's with disadvantage, I guess, because yeah, I'm blind. Yep. Yep. Great. Disadvantage. Is only I rolled a nineteen and a four, so it's a twelve. <laughs> Edward, what is your AC? Oh, Edward, oh. it's got to be more than that, right? It's got to be more than twelve. Uh, my AC Come is on, fourteen. Twelve. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, God. You feel this huge ham-like fist come out of the dark. Oh. 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 Glance across your armor. You oh. mental mental notes. You should probably get yourself some of these when you get to wherever you're going. Uh, now, um, yes. Ali, just because yeah. I don't know how your thing works, I technically have two attacks per action. Uh, why would you so say I don't that? know if it's no, like no, it's a make an attack or if it's, it's just make me melee. It's, it's great. It's one melee attack. Great, great. Um, Jet, what did your D8 say? Five. Same Five. as Simon's. Yeah. Um, right, now can you roll uh, a D4? It's going to kill each other. Uh, both of us roll a D4? <laughs> no, just Jet. Three. Okay, uh, you move. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Away. Oh, so okay, you okay. run. You hear oh, the voices. You hear the screw sound. You hear what sounds like your these people in pain, and you use all of your movement and run away from this. Noise. But just my movement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just your movement. So nothing okay. else. Okay. Okay, Edward. What was it? Uh, five as well. Five. Roll uh, another d4. D4. Come on, baby. The one time I know I'm going to get a low roll. Actually, to be fair, I get a low roll all the time. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> okay. What? You run along the wall, back in the direction that you came. You're terrified of this noise. You want to get out. You move all your directions away. Okay. And now we come 
So none of you, while that has been happening, <laughs> none of you have been able to see. Jay, so you look up. Running away. I'm, I'm not, not paying attention. <laughs> yeah. All the rest of you guys. But Mincha has been rummaging along the wall. Mincha will save us. Hey. I just yeet myself past. Someone's got to. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> uh, <laughs> Tom Cruise running. Yeah. Like. yeah. A shout. I found something. I found something. Quickly. Quickly. In Mincha's voice. That's it. Uh, and it's coming from basically right behind this thing, whatever it is. Now, the thing, it's still attached to your leg, Rianne. It's going to oh, take another bite. Oh, oh God. Great. Oh, great. You've got is... quite a lot of hit points, don't you? Yeah, I've got quite a lot. I am yeah. rolling well. That is an 18. Yeah, that hits. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hi. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. If I get to fight, it would be really, it would be fun. Right? <laughs> I don't think that's likely. That's, I think we'll be dead. It's not really the kind of game that this is, is it? Uh, it's more the dying. <laughs> uh, you take 21 points of damage. Cool. Mm. Well, I'm not either of you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah. we would be dead by now. <laughs> I don't look good. <laughs> and you start to feel on your other foot. More ah! teeth. their way up. And it's starting to consume you. Roll another strength check. Save? Uh, yeah, sorry. Non-nat 20. Um, yeah, but... Yeah. Still, <laughs> so please tell me that's enough. Floor, but you're resisting it. Now, you hear another... And... Uh, Rianne, make another right. saving oh. throw. Uh, it's a dexterity. Ali, I have never once killed your character. I just want to... I just... Uh, dexterity save. It's a yeah. five. You feel the, the stinging, scorching pain in your eyes. You can't see anything up there again. You're blinded again. Oh, I didn't realise she was... Oh, up there. no, I wasn't blinded. So <laughs> that's fine. Continue to be blinded. Very briefly. Do I see... No! <laughs> we can see the light. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, it's, so it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm free, I'm free. Oh. Uh, Jet, uh. Edward, the stay in your eyes, you rub them furiously as you run away from this thing you should do. And you manage to, oh, you blink your eyes, you blink out the poison, you can see again, you see the situation. Well, Jet, you see everything that's happened. You can see uh, this sort of, weird amorphous thing pulling its way up Rianne's leg. You can see above them commotion starting uh, from up where the guards are standing and you can see just in the distance, just on the edge of your vision Edward belting it as far as he can in the opposite direction. I can't complain. Um, now the guards I what, what's that? I wait a second now, you know, that's not I tell you what, I've heard that thing. I've been listening to that thing, that creature for, you know, too long. And, and that was not just it. There's something down there with them. I tell you what, there's something down there with it. And then you hear a deeper voice. Oh, no. Said, is that what you think it is? I tell you what, why don't we send you down there to have a little look-see? Fucking bronze. <laughs> that might be good. They can fight it for us. So what's this the, is What's the, the opposite of Christmas Day? <laughs> Christmas night, Simon. This is this is the three the three figures and the exoskeleton the big, lady. The, the guards, yes. Okay. With a screech of metal, um, the woman in the exosuit tears the metal grating away from underneath her and grabs one of the guards and dangles them above the hole. You got to go in and have a look now. Right. Rianne, it's your go. Oh. Do I have to roll the wisdom save or no? You absolutely have to roll all you can. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else is there? Okay, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Rianne, okay. Oh my god. Okay. Jet believes in you. Thanks. She may look like she's running away, but no, it's a seven. No. Okay. Roll a D. <laughs> roll a D eight. Oh! 
I was nearly tempted to lie. I never lie about rolls. And I was so like, maybe I could just say it was a nat 20. Five, five, five. Okay. Roll, uh, roll again. Dead. Roll another again. Yeah. Or D4, it doesn't matter. Three. Okay. You suddenly fear three. grips you. Fear, great. Now, you run as hard as you can. I thought can. she was grappled. Can she run? She's being eaten. So she would be if she had failed the strength saving throw at the uh, end of each of those turns, but she's not. It is on her, but she can force her way out uh, of it. Now you run, and the direction that you run is towards where you heard Minch's voice. Okay. Good Great. Direction. Good, like good that. direction yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the rest of us. Yeah. Um, so... And you can't, you would normally run your whole distance, but you can't because the wall is there. So you run, run, run until you get to her and you are right next to her. You're touching her. You can feel. And I'm scared. You're not scared. You're not frightened. You oh, are just so moving. Do I still get my turn? No, that is the only no. thing you do. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I get that. I'm happy about that. Now, Jet, what do you do? Um, You have that bit where Jet's like running away. And then just stops, um, and then looks back angrily at the dead cow monster, um, and is like, uh, "Can I see that they're like? Can I see where Mincha and, and Rihanna are? And is there a kind of a door there?" You can see where Mincha is, and you can see that there's a piece of the wall mm. which she is gripping onto, and you mm. can see that she's feeling along one little section of it. Um, you could try and look closer if you wanted. That would be your action. Um, I am going to uh, run. I'm going to. I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to run back, um, and I'm going to yell. At, oh, I'm not going to yell. I'm going to hiss angrily at the cow monster. You stay away from my new friend. Um, and then do I going... hear it? <laughs> Probably. It's not that quiet. Um, yeah. And then I'm going Real to well, blinded. Jeez, oh, I just, I just, Eduardo's still running away. I'm going to run and position myself between um, the the two of them at the door and the cow monster. But look, so facing the cow be, monster. That would be all of your movement. Let's all say that. That's oh, that'd be more than my there. movement. Yeah, that would be. Sorry, that would be my movement to get back where I was, and then my bonus action dash to get to where they are now. Right. Fine. So you Very have straight. an action left. Oh, um, well, as I go past it, <laughs> as I go past it, and I say, you know, get off my new friend. I, I guess I will <laughs> punch, punch it in, in the ooze. Punch the, punch the ooze. <laughs> yeah. I've got an action. Someone yeah. give the, the rogue well, a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> Get away from my friend. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's, a, hit. that's a 13 to hit. That hits. Can I say, can I, can I, because it's an ooze, can I, <laughs> would you allow me to run over it to get to them? And like just oh, punch the floor just as I go by. He will, he will engulf you if you do that. I know, but <laughs> it would be really cool, so I'm going to do it anyway. You can run over it. Make a strength saving throw. Okay, I do. I do do my 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 good old two points of damage as oh, I yeah, punch that's, it though. I've, so I've, so no, it's dead. dead. Yeah, yeah. How do you want to do it? Fist was a. a, a <laughs> Matthew Mercos. How would you want to punch oh, the ground and kill this uh, <laughs> cow monster? Um, unfortunately, my strength save was only a nine. I have nothing. That as you, this at all. you reach down, nothing to smack this thing, and you you make some good contact. You feel like you've done some. You've dealt some damage yeah. here. As you go to pull your hand out... <laughs> Not my hand! Oh no! Uh, 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 you can't. Oh no! It's being sort of held by this sort of fleshy mass that's sort of wrapping around it. Oh no. It, but all it does is, is hold you where you are, so you can't move anymore. So you're sort I mean, of... Yeah, it's a problem. You're, you're, you're basically where you would be anyway. It hasn't... Suboptimal. Yeah, we'll say that it, it happens when you get to where you are. No, shit. Okay. <laughs> just imagine you're in your fist deep in the spot. Well, this is suboptimal. Uh, so optimal. This, this could have gone Not better, ideal. Uh, okay, down I go. 
guess I'll die it's then. Worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> Just um, hide the pain, Harold, down in here with us. Sorry. <laughs> and then, and now, all of you hear a voice. I've got it. I've got it. Quickly. And you hear <laughs> a screeching Minsha. of metal coming from where Mincha was. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Does it light the area that we're nope. in? Nope. <laughs> yeah, fine. Uh, uh, Edouard. Right. I, can I move towards, so I yeeted myself past the, um, uh, Mietzsche. So can I move back to where I last, you know, where I heard the noise from, because I would have heard the door coming over, and, right? and her talking. Um, yes, you've got, so you can get to near there. With all your movement, that will take you yeah. about, you will take you closer. You don't know how far away, but along feels the way, close. I would like to insult the the, the ooze monster. Yes. yes! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna be oh like, gosh, yes. I'm, I'm just, yes. I'm yes, just yes, shouting yes. in vaguely the direction, like, make, make I, me shout I'm quietly. done with you, you empty-headed trough wiper! I fart in your general direction. There we go. Original. I like it. <laughs> Oh. Do you say that? Sorry, that was really <laughs> close. <laughs> okay. I can go uh, with that. And oh. is this you casting vicious mockery? Is I'm right? viciously mocking the, the, the cow slime monster, okay. yes. How okay. how does that work? <laughs> and what exactly? How is you t telling it you fart at it going to... Yeah, science it, Simon. Yeah, yeah science. science that. Science that, well, Simon. it is capable of verbal communication, is it not? It's trying to communicate it's... with us. <laughs> it's a <the> cow! <laughs> <laughs> It is verbally. Oh, have you ever tried to insult an animal? Have you ever looked at a dog or a cat and been like, and you know, Bad. you know, said stuff so to it? So it's tone of more tone of voice tone that you're doing voice. it with. Yeah. You know, the okay. Are you trying to tap into the, the sort of is relevant? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> the I could be saying, "You are you're the a good most cow. wonderful <laughs> being I've ever met in the universe. You are beautiful. I want to kiss you and marry my daughters to you." <laughs> but like, as long as it's like aggressively delivered. The slime monster's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, so what's the what's the spell save DC? Uh, what's your spell DC? Uh, what is my spell DC? That is an excellent question. Um, uh, I'm sure. Now that will be on your sheet. Uh, spell uh, uh, spell attack bonus is six. Nope. Saving throw DC is fourteen. Three. Um, I'm sorry, I've been forgetting to say what the rolls are. I will, I've been remiss. I will do that in future when I have been rolling because I have been rolling and lots. Um, that's a three. You hear it very, very slightly oh, from I nearby. Um, roll, how many d4 is it? Uh, one Maybe d4 it was just psychic damage. Does it go up? Oh no, it does. It's two d4 at fifth level. Okay, good. Roll, so, roll your damage. So the first d4 is a two, and the second d4 is a three. So five total. Excellent. Oh, how many of you insulted you the cow? Feel like... Poor cow. Honestly, uh, Simon. I feel it's successful, definitely... but also bad about it. Slice <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you want to do anything with your bonus action? Um. Oh, I just remembered. Oh no! Yeah, you, your object does have the bonus dice. Yes. Um, oh. Oh yeah! Don't forget. I put it away. I rolled. I rolled it. Oh shit! It was a d8, and then and then Ali asked me to roll a d8, so I rolled it for something else, and I forgot it. I mean, I only get to do that three times. So Hans, so if you, okay, uh, you don't. Do not do, are you bonus actioning? You had another bonus action spell that I remember. I thought it was a spell. Can you do two spells? Uh, so this is more true as a cantrip. So you can. You can do a spell in the yeah. cantrip. As oh, long as one is a cantrip. Um, buh, 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 buh. I can. That, that, that requires touch. Are oh, you shit. not? Yeah, we yet? made. We made him play cure where it's not healing word. <laughs> That's why Emily's just like. <laughs> I didn't think of a spell that Yeah, you didn't have. take it. I made you take Cure Wounds instead because I thought that was a better idea and now I'm regretting it. It's tired. Oh, it's tired healing. Are but, you doing yeah. anything, Simon? Quickly. Oh, I'm just, I'm, just reading, well, well. I'm just reading Enthrall. I'm going to see if I can... <laughs> a bonus action? I am going to no, do, no, no. do it or don't do it. Okay, no, so all right. I won't do anything for the bonus action. Okay, you, you bide your time. Safe in the knowledge you think that you've, you've done some damage to whatever this is. Above you, um, 
Oh, no. Uh, Jet and Edouard, you see um, this this mechanical suited figure uh, dangling this smaller sort of human off the end of her, her huge fist. You know what? I bet you like it down there. It's a proper liquor for you, eh? Listen, young laddie, you're going to enjoy this. Yo! Drops. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, oh my God, man! Ah! <laughs> oh, this! What is this? God, get me out of here! That's all you hear. <laughs> this is great. Um. And now we're back to Bates. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've. It's been Come set on, on a twenty. Come on. Make, mate. Oh, oh, make a all of you now because you're all back on top of this thing. Make wisdom saving throws. Yeah, that's what I assumed was happening before yeah, I actually it? had a turn. I haven't rolled it yet. I'm preparing. <laughs> <gasps> I got a fifteen. Um, I c- the mm. visions crowd in on you again. You, <laughs> but you know. You can't give in to this. Not now. Your no. friend is in danger. And that strange French guy, you think maybe there's something there. You're not sure yet. But you can't just keep doing nothing. You have to do something. What would you like right. to do? Oh, my gosh. A turn. I can't see anything still, right? There's no light. No, you can't. You see okay. nothing. I'm by the door with Mitya. You, you, you heard Mincha go, it's it! And then you would have heard... I ran running. to it though, right? Yes, yeah, so you're right next to her. Great, I will try and grab the wall and rip and open whatever door she was trying to open. Make a... Okay, so keeping? she will be she will be helping you. Okay. We'll say that. So she will give you advantage, but you will have disadvantage. disadvantage. So because flat. you can see nothing. So... Flat strength roll. Athletics? Sure. <laughs> uh, 19. That is enough. <gasps> you force <gasps> your hands onto the metal and with a tearing, rending... And you hurl... Roll... Roll a d4 for me. It's the exterior oh no, wall. I'm going to throw it at someone's head <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's it's still explosively decompression. <laughs> Okay. Smack myself in the face with it. Out. <laughs> Down. No, you just you uh, pull it off and hurl it behind you, uh, and it misses. You <laughs> kick bang, 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 into the darkness. Oh, Is there light to the, the other side of the door? Nope, nope. There's just more darkness. Well, well oh, okay, no, wait. We're not, you know, you would have to look to see if you'd see it. You've had your action, so yeah. that's that. Uh, um, I will move. not. Oh yeah, uh, mm, uh, yes, I do, and I will. Oh, I've done this in the wrong order. Um, I don't know. If I, I'm going to run up to. Oh, I, can't, I don't know where the cow is. Do I? You can't see. I, see it. I can't see it. No, I'll keep yeah, going forward. What's happening? I'll run forward. So, do you by forward? Do you which through the, through the thing door. I opened? Okay, all right. You run in. Are you doing your whole movement? Yeah, forty feet. Okay, you you run. All the way in, it's darkness for you because you can't see anything. Yeah, that's your turn. Jet, I rolled a six on my wisdom save. Roll a d8. Oh, fuck, I should have gone back. You, you, you didn't know the inspiration, though. I know I, I, the inspiration would have been. I don't want to waste the inspiration on something that has a very low chance of me getting the DC with it, basically. Yeah, um, seven on a d8. Okay. <gasps> no, I had that one. You are you right. Okay. You, roll, I punch Simon. Roll an attack. I, I, my oh, fist yeah, is it. in a oh, cow. Yeah. Well, you've got another fist. I've got another fist. <laughs> Cast fist. <laughs> um, that's an eight. Uh, you flail wildly. You're sure you <laughs> because from around you, as you've been breathing in this sort of strange musk. You started to lose track on what's real and what isn't. You, <laughs> you swipe wildly, but you uh, hit. Them. Just that's my turn, isn't it? Um, now. Bye bye, Tim. Mm. You're going to spore me again. Oh, oh no. You're going to spore me. Do it. If that thing hits me one more time, I'm. I'm you're, you're gone. I'm you're out of range. Um, you're fine. Yeah, but I'm not. So now it's Minch's turn, and Ooh, Jet, 
you see her just stop. Her arms fall by her side. Oh no! She just stands still. Oh no! Edward. Uh, so I am. How close was I to the uh, rent? You know, the... you're right next to it. You're right next to it. And what was your roll? Oh, I rolled an eight. Your... Roll a d8 for me. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Baby. So the one time I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a uh, four. Oh. What does that do? No one knows. We haven't had a yet. Around you, and it's almost like they're insulting you, like they don't <gasps> like you. But you feel what like are you saying? I have perfect <laughs> pitch. If... What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you just stood still and waited it out, it might be okay. So you stand still, perfectly still, and you do nothing. From to a, a little way in front of you, you hear. But you're going to tell us what's down there, eh? otherwise you're not coming out of there, little man. And then you hear... Oh, yeah, the new person. Does he have ah, that vision? What? What is this? What is... You know, if this thing gets me, I'm a freaking goner, mate. You... And then you hear... The sound of feet walking in your direction. <laughs> And then, Jet, you see a silhouette stop and hang motionless. Right, Rianne, <laughs> it's your go. Now, you rub your eyes furiously yeah. to try and- All right, here we go. This uh, problem that you're having, you can't see. And, and at last, some light starts to creep in. You see, above you, uh, what looks like a control. Banks and banks of dials, um, various pieces of um, equipment. Oh, and God. that's it for now. But I there is light. The you can see it out, the <laughs> uh, out the grate. Sorry. You can see, uh, so there's still a grated floor and you can see up above it. And the dials are above. Or, or, so all those kind of banks of dials and it's, controls, so it's still the floor, yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. Oh, my friends are in... Is there... <clears throat> okay, no. Um, I'm going to try and whack open the ceiling and get into the control room. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Why is Ali smiling? Why does he do that? Why oh, does the do? <laughs> smile. Roll a strength check. Athletics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a 15. Not it's great. a 15. You grab the grate and you pull, and you pull, and you feel it starting to give, but it's not coming, not yet. Um, and that's it. That's your turn. Yeah. Do you want to do anything do. with your bonus action? No, because it would be silly to. Because I won't get hit, will I? So, uh, no, I won't. I'll do it next time. You All right. might. Um, <laughs> okay. No, now... uh, she no, she she pulls the grate down, and she's like, "I'm getting really annoyed about this," and her breathing starts oh, like no. quickening, and oh, no. she feels like the adrenaline's starting to go through her, but yeah. I'm not going to. She's gonna kill us all. You gotta keep her calm, everyone. Okay. Jet. What are you gonna do? Oh, oh, wait. My oh, turn. Okay, no. Now you have to roll a wisdom saving throw. I didn't have my turn. No, you did it at the beginning of the turn. We did it at the beginning. That was you last turn. <laughs> that was last turn. You just didn't have to do it this turn. Oh yeah, because I was not there. Oh god. Oh, okay. Nat 20s, um, everyone. Go. Uh, wisdom saving. Oh, I presume wisdom. I need to do this as well. Yes. Just me. Yeah. Yeah. So quick. Okay. Um. Oh God, Simon. <laughs> Simon's given up. I've done all right, but have I done all right to be confident that I've passed it, or should I use the D eight just in case I haven't? I feel like I have. Ah! Um, I don't want to meta game, but I also want I can't. To tell you what. I can't risk. I can't risk being stuck here for another turn. We're so screwed. Um, I need to go save Rianne. No, I'm um, fine. You've got pa you've got panels. You've got. Levers. Uh, that's a 16 total for the wisdom save. 
16. Yeah. You hear the voices again. Using my inspiration as well. You take a deep breath. Ugh. You sh push your hands over your ears. You clear your mind. What are you going to do? I'm going to try and pull my hand out of this cow. <laughs> Roll a straight <laughs> Welcome to Country File. It's warm in winter is, and cool in summer. Is this my is this my action? <laughs> no, no, this is just a. a I can just do this. Yeah, oh, so you, oh, you don't oh, need an action to escape. Eighteen. Oh, Out comes your hand. Oh, thank you. Thank You're ready you, for DM. action. You have your action and your bonus action and your movement still to go. Yeah. Right. Nice DM. Kind DM. We love you, DM. A little ball of do, snow. Do. Where is Edward? <laughs> Where is Edward? Uh, Edward is standing about five feet away from you. Looking sort of motionless -y or fine? No, motionless -y. Uh He's just sort of standing mm. there. Yeah. Okay. I am going to run towards Edward. Um, I'm going to... I'm so nervous. My hand. And um, Minsha is also motionless, right? Yes. I'm going to run towards Edward. I'm going to give him a tug. Like a sort Sorry. of, come on... <laughs> okay, come on this way. Pull on the arm. Right. Um, I'm and <laughs> I'm a child. I'm also going to. <laughs> this is the group um, that laughed when we were told we were going to a penal colony. <laughs> okay. Funny. It's Every funny. time. That is funny. It's funny. Objectively <laughs> funny it's word. Objectively funny. <laughs> I'm also going to to um pull on um Minsha's arm, but the thing is that out of the two of them. We need Minsha more than we need Edward. So if it comes to dragging them, one of them down a corridor, it's going to be Minsha. And I, and I want to use my movement. Um, I guess I'll use my action for the sort of pulling or a grapple maybe, uh, you know, bonus action dashing, just trying to, oh wait, no, I need to use my bonus action to disengage from the cow, don't I? Otherwise they'll get an attack of opportunity on me. Uh, I, I... What kind of cow is it? Is it an attack of opportunity <laughs> kind of cow? It's a, or it's a, a zombie or a... goo cow. <laughs> you would have noticed that other people moving around yeah, this it doesn't entity go have for not people. attempted yeah. to... It just gloops them. Um, in that case, yeah, bonus action, dash, running, pulling. And I, I would like to pull both of them, but realistically, mean shit. You, yeah, come yeah, come you, on, need, to, come you on. need to focus on one. You are, yeah. as you said, quite scrawny. Yeah, um, very scrawny. So you choose one, you focus on me, you grab her arm, yeah. and with Kill all your strength, you pull her into the darkness, but you can see through there. So is that the direction you're going, into the pole? Yes, and I, I think I saw Rianne go this way as well. Yes, so you see Rianne in front of you, grabbing onto the railings, and with all your movements, so that's 30 plus 30, halved, because you're grabbing and pulling someone, so that's, that's yeah. 30. Yeah. So okay. you get 30, and you can get to where... Rianne. Rianne is because she moved 30. Okay, great. Is that is that where you're going? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Thank okay, you. great. Uh, uh, now it's Minsha's turn. Minsha! Oh. Oh. She, and she has shakes level her head. nine wizard and L looks up. No, oh level nine spells. Oh my god. You made it. Who does? Uh, did you see her? Did you? Was she outside? Did you? Did you see the captain? Did you, did you see her outside? Uh, Big exoskeleton, uh, deep voice. No. No? No, no, no. No, no, not her. What? Who? That's... Oh, no. Is the cow the captain? Not the big bird! The cow is the captain. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. Okay, 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 okay. I told you that beef-based diet was a bad idea. Okay, uh, Edward. Oh, so I rolled it's... a nat one on my wisdom save. Okay. Ray. Oh, Ray. Oh, oh, I'll go back. <laughs> the voices grow around you. The confusion swells. Roll your d8. That's a seven. What's a seven? You. I think I fought Oh, uh, the rage. You have perfect pitch. <laughs> you swipe out. Roll to hit. Uh. Oh. That's a 15. Wait, there's that, there's that, there's that nice That hits. Man. Roll damage. Uh, oh, I've got to double check. Is this on the cow or the, or the new stranger or? Uh, he, he can't see. Uh, this he is doesn't amaze, know. It's it? just what I did before. 1d6 yeah. plus one bludgeoning. So that's six damage. Uh, Wait, what are you hit? Oh, with goes. the mace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, uh, hey, no. You hear. 
You are crushing this cow. Yeah. <laughs> Verbally, physically. Physically. I'm like Vader at the end of Empire Strikes Back. From above you here. Hey. Hey, Slab. Hey, Slab, what's going on down there? Mm. Are you all right, mate? Hey, hey, Slab, talk to me, eh? And then you hear... A splash of water and a wave oh, no. past you. And the cyborg mech robot into the water down below. Oh, fuck. Where are you, mate? Don't worry, Mama's here. Right. Uh, no, too far. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> Mom, it's here. Um, right, Rianne. Right. It's now your go. <laughs> Anger has built up in Rianne, and she gets oh, really no. fucking angry. And um, oh, angry. Oh, angry. Pretty fucking angry. And I'm gonna go into a rage. Ah, she's raging. <clears throat> and. Well, Oh, I've got to choose. Very excited. I'm going to. None of them are there, are they? Wait, me, me, sure and I are I'm right. Oh, you're right behind me. Oh okay. my god, he's just gonna punch them. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, um, and you see her teeth grow longer, <gasps> oh! and this like fangs appear. Oh, and... oh no. That's my bonus action. <laughs> And then I'm going to try and basically just punch the grate off above for my action. Uh, roll a straight. Oh, no. I get advantage. With advantage. With. Okay. Uh, that is a 27. Oh, wait. <sighs> Check or. No, wait. A athletics? <laughs> 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 Seven, because if it was if it was athletics it was twenty seven, if it wasn't, it was a twenty four. <laughs> well, we'll take the twenty seven <laughs> for consistency. <laughs> you explode out of this grave. You force your way. Up. I will and jump up. Spray affected water and bits <laughs> of half digested bone and cow. You <laughs> and land. <laughs> on the floor in front of you in this room. Great, and I will shout PUNCH ME! <laughs> and then <laughs> that's my turn. <laughs> in front of you in front of you you see... That was something... definitely something more elegant I could have said. <laughs> I'm just yeah. gonna think of it. It's this it. poor crewman. A control deck. Um... Lights, uh, hold up, hold up. I've got something for this. What's he got? No, nope, it it's not that. Is it, is it the music. It's, it's music. It's music. We have control it's music. That. Yes, it's it's subtle. Let's let's not dwell on it. Um, so <laughs> you see the control panels. You see in front of you a viewing window, Ooh. and over the top of it, uh, not over the top of it. Sorry, through it, you see a blue orb dead center of the glass. We're there, we're Ooh. there. And silhouetted okay. against that orb, a slender, hunched figure. Well, maybe it you guys don't need to punch me, it'll be fine. <laughs> turns to you and you hear a voice. Well, hello there. And we'll I just screamed, break there. punch me at him. <laughs> Oh, so, okay. with them, them sorry. Oh yeah. We're going to take a quick break. So we're going to take a break. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back in, what, five minutes? Yeah, five yeah. minutes. Just, just a I quick want... pee and drinks yeah. break. Um, just, drink. yeah. just go and scream into a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere, people. Uh, we'll be back in five minutes. Thank you to all the people who raided. Um, oh, yeah. a raid. Yes, a raid. I'm not, I'm, we're I just, I was alerted to it, but I'm not checking chat during. Um, but yes, we'll be, hello to everybody who's just joined. Uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. Don't go anywhere for more D&D. &D. Oh. And hello there, we're back. So we're going to be going straight back to the action. Um, we should be, uh, we reckon this is taking a little longer than we expected. <laughs> uh, story of our lives. Hashtag will be a one shot. 
Uh, yes, it will, it will shut, I promise, Ali said at the start of this. Um, and um, yeah, so we're going to do a bit more action, and then at the natural conclusion of the story, we're going to stick around to talk about some of the science that we've encountered. Um, with that, Ali, um, over to you to get back to murdering us. Yay! <laughs> Death time! Me. This is... So, as as we left off, uh, Rianne, <clears throat> you had burst your way out uh, from this uh, underfloor drainage area and landed in the middle of this uh, control room in front of this silhouetted hunched figure. The hunched figure had turned and said, hello, use this then, or something worse to that effect. And you said, <laughs> After it. don't touch me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what Beneath I did. you, Jet and Mincha are standing in the slime. And outside the door, Edouard is standing pretty much still uh, next to some sort of creature and also a couple of guards, one of whom is pretty big, working their way towards him. So that's where we were left off. Rianne, you've just jumped up. Um, now, I am just going to roll. Edouard, at least you're in like a guard uniform, so maybe they'll like get a bit like confused. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. I'm very good at deception. No. Maybe they go for the cow. Yes, yes. Use that charisma, Mister Bardman. Hold up. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, that works for me. Jet, um, you see, um, uh, Rianne explode her way, um out of this uh, this sort of sludgy sewer system. What are you gonna do? Um, I can't, there's no way I can reach her to punch her. And, uh, <laughs> As she so politely requested. And go back for Edward. So I'm going to, this is such a bad order. Um, I'm gonna risk, I'm gonna risk going back for Edward instead. I feel bad. I feel bad, I don't know, Jet's got a conscience suddenly. And actually, this is objectively bad because, you know, you shouldn't go back into the danger if you're in danger. Now, there's two people in danger, but, you know, it's heroic. So that's what I'm going to do. Do I need to make a wisdom save when I get in range or something? Uh, Don't give him ideas. Weren't you already in the sludge? Does the sludge not extend into the other room or does it not? No, it's the cow. Yeah, I thought we were only making those saves when we were near it. Okay. So what are you doing, Jet? What I want to do is go back and... Um, grab Edouard and drag him away from the cow. Okay. So what, you're going to run back to Edouard? Yeah. Uh, so that will be, he's about 40 feet away from you. So that's a, you know, that will be slightly more oh, than just your damn movement. It. Okay, I won't be able to, yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. As you approach him, you smell a strange smell in your nostrils. Go ahead and roll wisdom. Saving throw. It's a two. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Roll Something you are. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to do everything around here, it's a six. Okay, you uh, now roll another, roll a d4. I want to punch Edward in the face. <laughs> Three. Like, someone said to punch me. Three. <laughs> Three. Okay. Oh, I hope it's not the running one. I don't you want to run in Take anywhere. off. Running. No! Oh, this is the worst. Have... Where? 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 Not towards the scary people. Terrifying. Oh, and you're you're leg it straight out. towards. No. The door. Uh, no. no, the freaky you people. You can see where you're going. But... So you yeah. would see them. So you running past the stood still figure Jesus. of the guard. Yeah. Just standing motion oh no mecha lady mecha lady this huge mechanical structure don't like it you stop <laughs> about five feet away from that's it. not far enough <laughs> <laughs> what about six feet <laughs> um right so uh rianne mm. as you're jumping up you can you uh, you feel the adrenaline pumping on and you see yeah. out of the corner of your eye <laughs> Mincha scrambling her way up, she pulls her way up the side of, um, out of the, the grate 
and you Great. see her <laughs> running as fast as she can away from you. Great. Now. Just in this in this flight deck she's gonna fucking kill yeah. me no I she's not me I... great okay. no, she reaches the door and you see her well no you don't see her you just see her reach the door that's it I mean, okay blood rage um so edward roll edward edward, edward. edward. i'm so sorry edward. 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 i'm rolling edward. for the seven for of wisdom it is a um well let me check l'addition <laughs> Um, it oh, is no. a 14. The scent fills your nostrils. The voices. No! You drown them out! And you take control of yourself again. What are you going to do? It was. So it can was, I, I can't was. see the like mech suit that's come down. Can't there. see anything. It's dark. Uh, no, Get you, to me. You can't see. You know the direction that yeah. Rian went. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run in because I think I ran back in. Didn't I? Oh no, I know I was stuck. You are, yeah, yeah. So you are next to the door. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna run out away from the the ooze and can I like climb up to to where Rian is? So you're gonna run through the doorway. Yeah. Okay. Roll a. You could make a perception or investigation. Maybe just oh, to see find which the modifier I have at higher. Um, <laughs> uh, what was it? Investigation or perception? Yeah. Uh, uh, plus one versus. Yeah, where's investigation? I'm just blind. Uh, I'll take the investigation. That's plus two. Nat 20! Boom! <laughs> Your senses kick in. You realize, of course, you can't see where she is, but you hear from the sounds, the echoes. You pick up that she's gone through. She's There's something blocking you in between you, but maybe if you just triangulate, whoo, your incredible sense of hearing, your perfect pitch tells you they have to be in this direction. Whoo, you set off at a run. Roll a strength save. Your throw. perfect pitch tells you. I'm like a bat. I'm like, I'm tired, Edward. Listening to it like it's like, a, like sonar. Um... Right, uh, what did you say? Strength, sorry. Roll a strength saving throw. Come on, baby, that plus one. Three. Uh, uh, you set off huh, your ankle. <laughs> it's caught. Get it! Get it! <laughs> You're stuck. Fuck. You can't move. <laughs> Why does ankle? this keep happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> you still have your action and your bonus action. Um... <sighs> Is that so? I, I so how lit is that? Can I see like above me? Super lit. You can see above you. You can't see anything <laughs> where you are in this sort of space, but you can see above you. And you can just you now know that there's a hole and you know where it is. There's a door and you could get through there. So like, you know. Right. Um, Rian, are you up there? Could you? <laughs> uh, are you all right? You're, up not there? Beneath her. You're not beneath her. She's 30 feet away from you through this hole in another room. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, and then up. You never but made I've it gone up, up, right? Yeah, you you yeah, are I up. didn't. But I went through and up. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um... Edward, you didn't make it any distance, you just got <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just You can gonna... probably still hear me screaming. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't think there's anything terribly useful I can do, so I think I'm just gonna be kinda of trying to dislodge my foot for the entire time. <laughs> okay. Um Well let's say I'll say let's say for the sake of students, you can spend your action trying to dislodge your foot, which would then make you immune from being grappled Go by this DM. thing next okay. turn. So lovely DM. Roll strength, we love roll you, DM. <laughs> Come on, baby. That's a eight. <laughs> Great. <Better. laughs> you tried. Like maybe you, <laughs> yeah, you, maybe you're getting somewhere. Um, <gasps> right. <laughs> uh... Now I die, everyone. It's been lovely playing yeah. with you. Well, we're all going to get murdered by set. Like we've got a monster. Separate people. We are yeah. all going to die. Great. Like never split the party. Yeah. You know. see, um, Jet. In front of you, you see um, this cybernetic figure. I can't see a bloody thing down here, mate. You know, look. If there's someone here. I don't know how I'm going to find them, but I'll tell you what, right? So I better get down here with a torch right the cuck away, otherwise I'm going to have serious problems here. Then a little... That's the, the best thing that's ever happened to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
you hear a voice that says, Buddha, Buddha, you know, Buddha, mate, listen, I'm going to come to you because I think there's something wrong here with this, this area. So I'm going to walk over to you now and I hope that, you know, maybe together, maybe we can sort this out or maybe you could go alone. I don't know, but this, we'll just do it like that. All right. Is and that another person starts. coming down? No, you see the guard who was down there originally. Yeah. Yeah. First guard, start walking back slowly. Huh, 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 huh. Backs into this metal axis. Huh, oh, oh, that's you. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Hold on. Okay, great. No, brilliant. Right. Um, that's their turn. Now it comes back to Rianne. Oh, fuck. Is it my turn? <laughs> no one punched me. I know. I'm sorry. It's just I would have had to it's climb okay. out of the hole no, in fine. order to punch you. Oh, uh, so it's my go. Abandon Edward. Yeah. My rage will drop. Ah. Uh, but I will use my bonus action to rage again. <laughs> and I will be like, fuck this. And instead, uh, as I rage this time, I'm going to... Uh, the scars in between my knuckles split oh, open. God. And claws oh, shoot yeah. out from each of my things. And I'm just oh, going to charge at this person and try and kill them. Are you Harry Toad gonna, Wolverine? I'm, I'm Wolverine. Yeah. Jesus, this. it's even in your character arc. How did I miss that? No, <laughs> yeah, you've seen my character. You, well, not my character. The, the, uh, the like, holes for them to come out. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my you God, it bound is. Over the, uh, you bound over the chairs. You smash away one of the control panels. For good measure, you just tear one of the screens off the wall. <laughs> and yeah. you hurl yourself at this creep person um, <laughs> creature person okay oh, i get three God. attacks with my claws okay yes, go ahead and make it you can do uh, it first one is not great is a one 14 one, to hit bad. that misses your okay. first one you swipe <laughs> wildly okay second one hit. is a 20 non that to hit <sighs> your claws make contact it's almost like tearing through uh, it's like tearing through blamange. It's sort of like uh -huh. it's not as tough as oh. you know you would have expected. Cool. But it doesn't matter. You don't care. You're just you're tearing through it. Cool. Uh, I'll just see if the other one hits, and then I'll do all um, the damage at, at yeah, once. Sure. Uh, and then the other one is an eighteen plus eight, so twenty six to hit. Yes. Uh, cool. Your other claws come round straight round the back, stabbing into this. Uh, Great. Slashing, some might say. Uh, and once per turn, when I hit a creature with an <laughs> attack that deals slashing damage, I can reduce their speed by 10 foot until the start of my next turn. So they're slow now. I don't know if that makes any difference, but I can. Yes, you get um, the tendons. Where you're yes, the tendons that's a good idea. That's great. Uh, and then the damage is I rolled 10 on the dice plus 7 plus 7. So 40, 24 points of slashing damage. <laughs> and I just go, fuck you, dude! <laughs> <laughs> you can't fuck that up. I don't even know who you are! <laughs> I don't know who they are. I just met them. Fuck them. Fuck them. You she see warned us that this would happen. The composure on this figure's face. As you get closer and closer, the silhouette, you can see the eyes pick out. It's human. It's a human face. But there's something strange happening with the skin. You don't can't... Care. Yeah, you don't care. But you do see it. But you <laughs> yeah. um, Noted. You Next. tear into this creature <laughs> and you see the pain just pass across the face and then suddenly, as though it had never happened, dampened. And then it looks up to you and almost... You almost see the hint of a smile. And then... Why is there a voice? <laughs> It reaches out and it places something on your head. What? I'm sorry, what? And, what? <laughs> and uh, is it a hat? Feel... <laughs> it's a party hat. Is it? Terribly <laughs> Happy birthday, Rian! <laughs> oh and the party popper in his mouth yeah. just goes. <laughs> 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 Surprise! They do this. They do this every time it's someone's ever. birthday. They wake them up. Yeah, it's your birthday. Oh my god! I totally didn't realize because I've been asleep. The next comes in. It's like a pool. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the cows like. <laughs> <"Whoa, whoa, whoa." laughs> From Captain Cow. <laughs>
So that happens, yeah? Yeah, yeah. that's what happens, and we all win. Okay. <laughs> well, it's been lovely, everyone. Thank you for joining us. So much. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. Um, lovely adventure. You feel these... Um, now I die. You feel these uh, oh, no. claws. Oh, no. It feels like... Ah! Um, oh, not this shit again, Ali Jennings. Into your scalp, and then... <laughs> blinding pain in the top of your... Scott, oh God. I need mind. you to You're roll. I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Why wisdom? wisdom Are we sure you don't throws. mean strength? <laughs> <laughs> Athletics. Um, okay. I got an eighteen. Take a picture of it. <laughs> you feel? <laughs> I mean, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Do it again. <laughs> I'm doing it. In the chat, we'll deal with it later. I'm doing it. I'm doing um, it. It's there. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come to it later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will be checking that work. Um, you feel something very strange like, to, to your mind. As though, it's as though your mind is being reordered. Like memories have been shifted. You feel oh, no. emotions come and go, waves. You sort of almost feel like who you are is being deconstructed, but there's a solid core of you, an angry core hmm. that keeps you locked Fuck in you, place. Man. And you reach up and you tear this thing out of your head and hurl it away. And whatever it was doing or trying to do doesn't appear to have had any effect. Wow, um, they're all gonna have stuff in their heads. Mm. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I know so. my star sign, and it's angry. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, right. So now uh, that happens, and then Jet, you are stood next to two highly mechanized guards. Um, um, what would you like to do? I would like. I would like to take a moment to close my eyes and slow my breathing and my heart rate and I would like to very quietly take five steps back away from them stealthing then I would like to just run okay roll stealth <laughs> uh-huh. then I would like to stop stealthing <laughs> stealthing and run Dude, fuck it. <laughs> yeah um so 12 on stealth. You take one step back. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You take another step back. Yeah. And you step on what feels like it could be a little bit of spine. And your foot goes out from underneath you. And you fall over. <laughs> and then you're pretty sure you make quite so a lot of noise, but you're still running, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scramble, scramble. Push, like. So, um, uh, where are you headed? Back the way I came. I, as Past... in just... <laughs> I'm just running just, back. You're trying to get into the room, is that right? I'm trying to get into the into the tunnel that goes up that goes up Great. into the room. Okay. Make back into the cow zone. Wisdom saving throw. Back into the zone of cow. I would like Come to on. sing the Benny Hill theme no. as no. this is happening. No, no. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's check something here. It says here you're all already dead. Ah! Uh, no. Yeah, it makes sense. No! What? You hold what? your breath. And it was just a dream. Through. Um it's not that passive. And you keep moving. What? Okay. So... What, you mean because I was holding my breath? Oh, uh, shit! Because <laughs> you, you... Let's say for the sake of argument, you knew what you were looking for. You held your breath. You just ran. You concentrated. You ran. You don't have to make that saving throw. You don't have to make strength saving throw. You just nail it through. Wait, I, wish, I really wish I'd done that on purpose because that's really smart. <laughs> like, we kept um, breathing in the s'mores, we could have just not breathed in the s'mores. Well, that's that's uh, for flavour. I'll go into it at the end. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Anyway, um, essentially what happened is like, that only that effect only works if you start your turn in that particular oh, space. Oh, okay, so I was okay, being, okay. that was my oh, bad, okay. sorry, I was, I was actually applying that a bit when more realistically than it yeah. should have been applied. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Fine. Anyway, you're still alive. Fine. Great. So, <laughs> for now. Yay! You, so you, 30, 30 feet of movement gets you to the face of the door. Are you? Yeah, minus, and, minus the five for the 
for a little bit of a few steps at the start, uh, and then another 30 bonus action dash. We'll say that the... takes you to underneath the hole that Rihanna's mentioned. Yeah. So you can I, your action. as an action, still try and try, try and get up? Hey, you could help me. So... <laughs> <laughs> I am just standing here. Now you're fucked. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing again? I'm trying so to you're... get up and I failed my strength for saving throw. Oh, I'm not uh, sure you guys no. should come up here. I'm not, helping. So I'm not helping Edward. I'm getting, trying to get up myself. You're going to use your action to dash again, essentially. No, I'm going to use my action to climb. Up. We'll call that movement. Oh, right. Well, then I can't do it because I haven't got any movement left. I can only but do it got... as an action. But hang on a second. So you've got your... You've got your movement, your bonus action, which you've used to dash. Yeah. Can you not use your action to dash again? Oh, oh God, can I? Um, Did I just... I'm going to say for the sake of argument. Yeah. See, maybe you can. you can. Yes. Yeah, but anyway, it's up to you, Ali. Yes, you're getting, yeah, yeah, you can. Sure. All right. So you're going to use your movement. You're going to get up. You've still got about 20 feet of movement left now that you're up. You see in front of you. Let's oh, in, tell you what you see oh, since you're not okay. full of rage. Uh <sighs> The I'm a bit day. pissed off, you know. You are a little pissed off, that's true. The flight <laughs> day. It's warm up here, unlike where it was before. It's been so cold, freezing up until now, but it's warm in here. And it's damp. And there's this... Well, you wouldn't hear that because there's people screaming. You can see the blinking of uh, controls and alarms. Um, you can see around you the detritus left where people were living here. Um, but you haven't got a lot of time to look around, so you don't see a lot of detail. But you still smell this strange scent, sort of pheromonal almost. And you see these little objects hanging from the ceiling. The ceiling's much lower here, whereas in the previous, the cargo room, it's it's huge. Here, it's you know about 10 feet tall. And there are these little objects, almost like runner beans hanging from the ceiling. So that's what you see when you come in. Uh, <clears throat> and that's your turn. Now, Mean Chef is going to go ahead and try and deal with the door again. Right. Mean Chef, behind you, uh, Jet and Rianne, you hear a sound. Ah, that's it. That's it. I, I, I could do it. And a sound from the okay. door behind you. Edward, uh, you are still in this thing, so you need to make wisdom saving throw. And wait, no, I'm, I'm hanging on to the. Uh... No, you never made it out. Oh, I Remember thought I was your... like halfway up. No. no right. Your foot got stuck in the thing. You never made. You never. Ah, uh, okay, never... right. So wisdom saving throw coming up. Not you got this. No, it's not. It's a. Uh... Oh, uh, it's a 17 plus one over my modifier is. Yeah, you feel yeah, confident yeah. now. You <laughs> That doesn't phase you anymore, incredibly. <laughs> Straight mind, you know what you've got to do. Okay. Um, now, we'll say for the, with your eight last turn, you managed to keep your foot out of whatever this thing is. You're free to move. Action, movement, bonus action. What are you going to do? Do it. Okay, so if I I, I will clamber up, um, does that get me into the control room itself? Then it takes you thirty feet to get to this hole which Rihanna's made. So through the door and to get to this hole. So that's yep. your movement. Um, you can then use your action to do other movement. And and so I can I can see what Jet has seen before. Uh, you would have to climb out, which would be your action to get out. Ah, I see. Um, and I can't really do anything. I can't see anything from them this side right i just see there is a hole you can see you see that there's sort of there are shapes that are blocking out some of the light that's coming down you can hear that there's a ruckus going on um and <laughs> you uh. that's it yeah uh okay i will I, I i think he'd go through the hole okay so you use your action to climb up you come out you see the same thing that jet has seen these funny objects hanging off the ceiling this warm a pheromonal sort of scent and in front of you you see poof, this hulking monstrosity wrapped around this tiny slender figure and next to you is jet standing still looking again you have a bonus action now and you have about 20 feet of movement left if you want it okay so 
Is Rian being enveloped? Sorry, by the. No, Rian. No, the I'm in a room. Is Rian. Ah, I oh. see. Yes. Okay. Oh, I was confused. I'm not in a metal sorry, suit. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was very confused. So I was like, like is Mac I, I thought it was like, wait, we're not in the same room. I thought we were in the same room. We're in the same room now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Great, great, great. Okay. Yeah. Cool, yeah, I'm here. Hi. Um, How's a monstrosity? Oh. Ah, I've got claws now, which you haven't seen. <laughs> it's pretty monstrous. There's probably blood coming all over my hands. Ah! Um, can I try and... Uh, can I, like, ready cutting words? No, that would be an action. Okay. You can even hold an action. Oh, no, cutting words is a reaction anyway. Oh, uh, right, okay. Your... Yes. But you've used your action. You have so a this bonus is just action. bonus action. Um... You you can cutting words if someone tries to do something because it's a reaction, so it's it's not the same as your action or your bonus action. Do I feel True brave that. and feel like trying? Because I presume I can see that Rian is pretty fucked up. I'm wondering if I should like touch. You and can't. Feel... You've used your action. Oh, is that not a bonus? Oh, cantrips a bonus, right? Uh, no, uh, no, healing word would be a bonus. Cantrips sometimes cantrips can be bonus action or action, but you can only do two spells if one of them is a cantrip. Uh, <laughs> Rules. Love it. Simon's so, playing a spellcaster. <laughs> for the first time, Simon, you tell. Uh, what do you can, do? can I try and uh, inspire um, uh, Rian? You absolutely Great. can. How, how are you going to do it? Um, I'm, uh, I'm going kid. like, ah! Soft kitty, little kitty, <laughs> little ball of fire. Soft <laughs> werewolf, pretty werewolf. Pa, what a werewolf. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> that was very nice. Loves it. <laughs> Beautiful. Ways. Yeah, yeah again, amazingly. It's like he's got a window into your, yeah. you know, the funk. You get it. Um, take your D8 inspiration dice. Shall. Great. Now, from behind you, you hear, What the hell was that? My God, God there's My someone God. down here. There is someone down here. Everybody get down here. Come on now. Uh, We're not down there. That's no, like that's right. They're going, they could have gone down. They could have gone down. And just for the sake of brevity, we will say that a kerfuffle commences. Scat and you can hear the sound of. <laughs> oh no, we have to save the cow. Slamming and punching. Should we go the back to the goes cow? Down with its we have to go back to Captain Cow. <laughs> so that, that's all now happening in the background. Um, Rianne. Yes. We're back on top of the order. It is your go. Let's fucking go. Um, Jet, you're up next. I mean, there's there's nothing else to do, but I'm just going to roll them all at once. Three attacks on person in front of me who tried to put some weird shit on my head. Did that damage you, or do I still need to punch you? Oh, it did not. No, it doesn't matter because I attacked. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, so that's oh. two 17s and a 23 to uh, hit. They, they hit. Great. All your damage. So that's... Natural, just 21 damage with my strength and my rage bonuses, plus, uh, oh, I rolled two sixes and a three, uh, plus 15, so 36 points of slashing damage. You are an animal! Yes. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> the rage takes the Don't blood Don't push it on my head! Fuck you! It comes down over your eyes and you're just tearing away at this thing. It's trying to speak to you, but... You're not listening, you can't hear. You tear chunks out of its flesh. It looks the creature's looking just rough. It has bits torn out of it. One of its arms is just hanging off. You could see its face with these claw marks all the way down it. But one eye is still set, looking straight at you. And you see the side of its mouth that hasn't just been torn away almost try and form into a smile. Oh, I'll smile back giving with you my a nice hat. Hair. That's all that's all they've done. Okay. They're just like okay. here. Friends. Have a little hat that tries to reorganize your, your local brain. Friendly that's not so bad. Maybe space friendly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this is this is what they would do. Um kill me. <laughs> and then Oh no. Uh, oh no. I'm going to You he, the figure brings its mouth next to your ear and whispers yeah. bye bye and then the body just goes flopping oh no the bo not my body oh, no. that no. Body. their body. body 
That's oh god, where, 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 where are they? Where are they? They're somewhere we're else. To, they're, they're... We're going to fall out of initiative order now. Oh. Oh shit. Um, do you want to keep singing? Because uh. <laughs> I'm just like claws. I, I will keep just attacking the body. Do you still want me clawing. to? Punch? Do you still want me to punch you? I can punch you. I, 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 please don't hit me. Please um, can I make a wisdom? I'm gonna make a wisdom now. save for myself to try and just yeah. get out of it. Oh, well, I got a 15. Okay, cool. Okay. I, and I'll just drop my rage and be like, as you drop your rage. Jet's gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll to hit. Go on, go on. Yeah, roll to hit. Paying attention. Um, oh, oh, 17. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Two points of damage. Oh, yeah, so cool, great. That's a good thing. Yeah. How much? Yeah, that took you down, I do... felt really oh. bad. She's Ow. looking really rough as well. Oh. She's been looking really bad. Oh. This is, yeah, this might have tipped her over the edge. Yeah, I, no, 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 I get, I get why you did that, but I'm, I'm, I, I've stopped, I've stopped, I've stopped. Okay. Hey, um, Jet. I, I know, I know things are kind of calmed down, but Jet is going to look for a weapon in this bloody room, anything okay, sharp, make, because make, like, make an investigation check while this is happening. So yeah, so let's do this first. Make an investigation check. I'm good at that. No, I'm not natural one. Oh no. Was that was a natural one? It was a natural one. You are. What am I find? I find look, fun. Still, there's the, that feeling of that poison in your eyes. You could, you almost, you just can't concentrate on searching for these things, and everything that's happened in this this creature in front of you that you thought was your friend. You just, you have no idea what what's around here. You just can't concentrate. Rianne's just sort of sitting Behind and like holding her knuckles. Minsha comes Ooh, running up. Oh, yeah. I've I've locked the door. I've locked the door. We can. We we can change the course of the ship, but but what did you do? What happened? What happened to the? What happened to her? Well, she turned into a big like a monster. No, 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 thing. no, no, <laughs> not no, no, not not you. What happened to that woman who was here? I don't. I, is the body uh... the body not still here? The body is still here. Yeah. I, I'm going to gesture at the gesture at the body. But what did you kill her? What happened? I, I get. I, I, she just kind of stopped. I, I didn't. Would we know, would we recognise what, from that description, what might have happened? Yeah. Uh, like, did I recognise that it wasn't my, like, it wasn't her, like, bleeding out from what I'd done. It was more something So, she... hang on. So, is it, okay, right. Rianne, let's see if you can roll insight for me. 18. You have seen something like this before. You know that it is possible... And you don't know how this is. It's, it's like a kind of magic, like a witchcraft, for minds to be moved from to bodies us. to other bodies. Oh, fuck. And you've seen this happen oh, once fuck. before, and it reminds you of that moment when the first host body just collapsed. I don't... Oh, God. Um... Yeah, they're not in there anymore. Um, I, I don't... They didn't die. They look pretty fucking dead to me. Yeah, yeah, I know they do, but um, I've killed people before, and that's that's not that wasn't we, it. We, we've got to sp uh, stop the others coming up the hole in the floor. Um, is there anything we can? Oh, as, oh. as you're doing this, Mincha looks up. Oh no! And touches one of the hanging objects. Wait, wait. Does any do any of you know what these are? Uh, uh, what, do we need to roll to find out? You pay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, I doubt it. I don't think I would know. But let's just say that. Okay, now. so all of you guys roll a nature check. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> minus two. That's a nine. Uh, Fourteen. I think you get uh, bonuses on that. Six. Shaman. I think that I assume that's including the the bonuses. Okay. I assume. Shamani, you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, uh, Jet. You don't know exactly what these are, but you know what kind of thing they are. You reach up, you touch one, and it's got a sort of papery surface. It reminds you of something you have seen before on your home planet. In the forest, hanging from the silk, hanging from silk in the trees, they're chrysalises. They're little, uh, yeah, uh, cocoons 
with something inside of them. You wouldn't know what. Um, I shall say that. Are really uh, these yeah. things meant to be on a spaceship? They do not seem to be like they are supposed to be here. Mm. Uh, I don't... Can I just keep looking at everyone and check that they're acting normally? Yeah. <laughs> You mean all of your companions? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, a like Rian's got full defense. Very sensible like, thing to do. If I wasn't, that's yeah. all I want to do. I don't want to look at. Don't give a shit about the cocoons. I just want to be like. Okay, rolling. Which one of us is? is who, who, who are you gonna? Who are you gonna? Okay. You uh, I don't know who. Uh, I'm one gonna roll time. to choose. Um. Okay. Uh, I didn't. Uh, okay, Simon is one, two. Shaman is three, four, and um, Meecher is the other one. Three, four. Uh, so yeah, Jet. And what's your intake? Four. Uh, My best friend! Oh, wow. Shamini, roll yeah. either persuasion or deception, depending on whether you're on the level. Don't tell us which one. And then, are you on the level? Do you know this, friend? Um. Oh, jeez, oh, I've broken it. Um. So, so the, 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 the would, would you have with a, with a, Roll off with persuasion. Basically, Bates rolled really low. Now, whether I roll low or high um, doesn't really matter because Bates rolled really low. So I would say that. Well, but she doesn't know that. So just. No, but like if I roll low, then I don't persuade her. And if I roll high, then I do persuade her. So do you know what I mean? It doesn't actually. Uh... Just let, say for I... the sake of argument, for the sake of brevity, just yeah. how. She seems on the level. She seems like she's as confused as you are. Hi. You don't really know what's going on. Can I? Yeah, um, um, I'll do both of them, but like, I'll just roll two, and then this one's for Simon. Oh, a nineteen insight, <laughs> and then a nine for Misha. Okay, okay. okay. Um, Misha, oh, she looks scared, but she doesn't look. You know, she just she just looks sorry, confused. And behind, uh, already outside, <laughs> you can hear the sound of this. The cow thing sounds like it's in a lot of pain. Means she oh, turns to the body and looks at the body and says, What? Maybe there's something in this body. Come on, for God's sakes. What are you just standing around like idiots? What has happened? Look at this body. Is there anything we can learn from this? You said we had to change course, so change course. Right. I, I just. Who knows how to fly a spaceship? Do what you came here to do. I have this suspicion. I can't. I change can't be course sure. Just first. The changing cost thing does seem to be the most important thing. Can we do that and then worry about the dead lady? She okay. tried to mind control me. Okay. She... she what? She put a thing on my head and it wasn't a hat. It wasn't my birthday. So... Show uh, me the thing. Show me it. Show me it now. Uh, 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 I threw it somewhere. I'll try and find it. We are arriving wherever we're arriving where you said we didn't want to you arrive. You shut up. You shut up. This is more important than that. Uh, I'm gonna... Investigation. Oh, fuck. Uh, so, well, it's I rolled a three with a minus two as a one. Okay, you have no idea where it is. Yeah, no, no. Um, yep. Can we all scramble Smooch around it. to look for something? Yep, that yep, looks... yep, okay, like, we'll it was it. like pointy and it went on my face and it we'll hurt. You find it. Mincha picks it up and looks at it and says, I can't believe you don't know what this is. This is this is the parasite. What? what? This. What? These things destroy colonies. These things live in humans. If this is on the ship, we cannot let it survive. Oh, fuck. I, I can't change the course of this ship. We have to destroy it. Heading Everything on here. N if no. This gets out, we'll die. I'm not it doing could that. Be in you. When you I don't... Up, did you have, was there anything? Did you feel anything different? Did you, did you, did your joints feel like it? Did you have a headache? What, what? N what? Do you know, uh, this could be inside you. You woke us up. But I don't know what was happening to you before. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. No. This you was... Say anybody on no. the ship could have a parasite in it. Is there any way of knowing who has the parasite? I... I don't... I don't think so. She takes down one of the chrysalises and opens it up, and inside ah. you see... A maggot, about two inches long, pulsating, with 
tendrils that come out of the oh, side. God. And it wriggles ever so yeah. slightly. It undulates. These things, they could be throughout the crew. We just, we just don't know. Uh, if they no. get into a human population, it's over. It's done. Je uh, I'm not. Jess going to run for the cons console and, and start pressing buttons at yeah. random. Okay. Uh, uh, are you trying to do anything? Steer right Where towards. We're, we're Where still heading. We're, we're, we're heading directly towards a big bull, uh, right? Yeah. You are very close at speed. to this planet now. All right. Yeah. I, I'm i going to run over and try and grapple Misha so she can't stop Jet. <gasps> Shit. Wait, <laughs> wow. wait a minute. Are so we not bad. heading <laughs> for a terrible criminal planet? Yes. Right, and we're trying to change that. <laughs> but what if we let the brain-eating maggots go to the criminal horrible planet and we fuck off somewhere else? <laughs> Two At the moment, stone. I, this I ship is going saying. to crash. The ship is going to crash. We can't drive it. Are there escape pods? There must be escape pods. Are there escape pods? There are no escape pods on this ship. <laughs> this convenient. is a meat processing ship. <laughs> Oh, right, get the captain out of here! Right! <laughs> oh okay. no, oh. it's in all of us. We're gonna destroy so you've humanity. you've not managed to check. You've, I'm not hearing that you're actually actively trying to change course anywhere. So currently it's on, the ship is jet on. Was, jet was, I would like to yeah, try and change course and steer towards the right. The right? You're in yes. space? <laughs> yeah, the right. right. <laughs> yeah, you're still looking and there's a right. Oh, starboard and no one of them. Left, up. Oh. Are you trying to, away, from, away from the planet, into the planet? Well, directly. I assume that currently we're going straight straight towards the planet. So any direction other than our current course is away from the planet. Okay. All right. You uh, re run in and you start wrestling well, with the controls. Uh, roll an intelligence check. Uh, Means to try to join you, but no, no, no I'm, I'm, yeah. her. Roll a strength check. Um, That's terrible people. Yes. Bad, bad people. Uh, Twenty-five. Fine, yes. I rolled a 21 right. on... No, Russia in your Visite grip. Hi, we're friends now. Intelligence, yeah. 21 on intelligence. 19 plus 2. This is an old ship. You feel like the massive joystick might oh! be something to do with the direction. <laughs> you grab it, you pull to the right. You hear in the bowels of the ship... <laughs> the ship... Slowly, the planet starts to drift out. No! No, you can't do this! You have to stop! What? You wanted us to take it to the planet? You have to crash the ship! No. Wait a minute. We might not be infected. We might all be fine. Everything might be fine. You don't know. We can't take that risk! Shh! The planet moving further and further away. Who are you to say? You, 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 you don't... Care about anyone in this ship? We're all just prisoners. Yeah, a bunch of fucking prisoners. We're, we're, no, I rest my case. Misha no. takes a baton out of her pocket and tries to hit you with it, Rian. Yeah, go for it. That's a natural one. Yeah, she drops fuck the you. baton just held in your arms. I just whisper oh. in her ear, "Don't make me angry." You can't. <gasps> You can't let these things live. You can't. You, you just can't. She's scrabbling at you. She's pawing at you. The ship's moving away. Can, and I think with that, I... oh, okay. let's just, everybody gets one more, one more throw of the dice, as it were. Anybody want to do anything? I, I want to see, I want to like either for her to roll persuasion or I can roll insight or something I'm not... and give it one last chance to, to sort of change, change Jet's mind. Okay. She will roll. She will roll persuasion. Yeah. On you. Um, and I will set a, set a DC of, of. That is say, a. 13. Six. 29. Sorry. Six. Sorry, Meecha. Sorry. It's going to destroy silence. humanity. We don't have to land it anywhere. We're just not doing that. We can just park it and then uh, hail a, a taxi that comes past. Oh, I'm not God. dying. I am not oh, ready to die on this fucking ship. Oh, of space. Oh, the ship. Drift away from its chosen course into the blackness, away from Empire Space, away into the nothingness. Oh, God. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! 
we are terrible people. Like we've done a bad we've thing, done a bad but thing. that's <laughs> fine. I didn't kill everyone. They, no, we have no idea. We each could have been lying out our ass. We have no <laughs> idea. Equally, like, we, we don't have the opportunity to rid the world of like a, a so literal optimistic. criminal planet. Like, yeah, arguably, yeah, yeah we, we, we did the worst yes, ending. We are awful. Okay, no, we didn't. Uh, it is. It is ten. Did so you she die, though? Yes. yes. Right. So this is what uh, happens now. Yeah. What What happened during the stream today? Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, can I Science? can I start um, with like the the point that I wanted to kind of bring up first was the whole topic of. Um, suspended animation for mm. like long mm -hmm. distance. Right, travel. straight into the DMD. Oh, we're going oh, right. straight in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Science, everyone. What's happening right now? Well, what oh, are we sorry, gonna I do now? That was what we were doing. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. But maybe for people, <laughs> maybe to introduce what's <laughs> happening now that the story is over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, um, right, right. We're gonna we're gonna do some chit chats. Yeah, we're gonna chat about the we're gonna um, open devastated the chat. Open chat again and say hi to everyone in chat. I don't know if I'm in a science mindset. We're going to talk about science. And then also, yeah, right. um, time to thank some of the people who donated and subscribed. Um, oh, yes. But we will oh, yeah. what, let's, let's just kick off the science discussion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just quick, just get the ball rolling. Um, <laughs> with, oh, God, my field stays in chat. Um, <laughs> everyone act cool. Um, so, yeah, basically, the, okay. the whole idea of suspended animation, like, how long, Ali, had you imagined that we'd been frozen? Yeah. For? Oh, we had a headache when we woke up. Oh. Yeah, because we had the parasite. We had the parasite. Uh, yeah, great, great question, Simon. Um, well, <laughs> so it's sort of bound by the fact that, you know, there are people who will live their lives looking after the ship, and they're not in suspended animation, so it's going to be no yeah. longer than a human lifespan. It's highly unlikely to be even that. I was thinking it would take about 50 years. But could it, like, could it, would it not be, I don't know, this is more just conceptually, would it not be cool mm. if you had, like, generations of people whose families lived yeah. and died on an enormous transit ships. Because oh, if you're gonna go so into stellar distances, you get these families that, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think what I was thinking is that if you're gonna set up a penal colony, right? Um, yes, just get it out of your system. Oh, you don't wanna just basically plane. send them off, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years down the line, because then there will be no control of that penal colony. It won't be able to do anything for you. So it mm. is on the edge of Alliance space, but it's close enough to other Alliance planets to actually be of use. I sort of thought it was going to be a colony, which would be the start of a larger colony on a planet, which the Alliance kind of wanted to get involved with. Right, so Space Australia. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. But that's maybe. Oh, yeah. Cass just said to say the same thing. Uh, yeah, no, I do want to say on the stream. We haven't <gasps> oh, said this yet. Cass. So, Cass, thank oh. you so, so much. The absolute, Cass. Uh, the absolute hero of this campaign, um, because she yeah. provided yeah. the amazing <laughs> art. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, the one shot. Um, the, all the artwork that you've been seeing, including the backdrop, has been made by Cass. Um, oh, some yeah, absolutely yeah. beautiful things. Yeah. I <laughs> love <laughs> them. The. Uh, yeah, they're, they're exactly what we hoped for, and uh, all of the art, all the assets, all of the the things like surrounding us here on the screen, um, it was all us. So thank you so so, so much. Gorgeous. Thank you, we love you. Thank you. Amazing. Um, oh. Uh, and the backdrop almost melted my PC. Yes, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was fractals like it, i think uh, but um i have a question back with oh sorry we did wait what are we doing we're doing no, stream yeah, what are we doing um, with the suspended animation are we thinking like true suspended animation or are we thinking mm. more like a, a very extended like hibernation kind of thing where everything's just wait, what's immensely the... slowed can uh, you do true suspended animation well no i don't think you can oh, yeah. currently Basically, but like that's know anything about that no. No, I'm, this isn't like a... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, in hibernation, um, animals, like, slow... They, just, yeah, just massively rate, slow. Every, everything right. slows, yeah. right? The metabolism yeah. in general just goes slow. Were you thinking that, but, like, maybe even more than, like, a general, like, seasonal long hibernation? Or were you thinking more... Um, so I guess the point is, if we'd been travelling for a thousand years, yeah. would we have aged a year, or would we have aged nothing? Mm. Kind of thing. Um, I just, it, because it's that thing, isn't it? With like that, you can't freeze stuff because if you freeze it, it dies. So you have to find a way of sort well, of cooling everything down everything. whilst keeping it. Yeah, not, yeah. If, you, if you prevent ice crystals from forming, the cells won't yes. burst like the frogs, what freeze themselves. Or ice yes. cream. That's or Freddie <laughs> Gray would have a lot to say. <laughs> but then we'd essentially have to fill ourselves, you'd have to genetically modify yourself so you basically had antifreeze in your system. Yeah, but 
Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that'd be Why great. Be because because the thing is that canonically, we woke up on some meat hooks, no wires, no tubes, no enclosed space with gas. That's true, yeah. What? There what was gas. Oh, there was, was gas. gas. Oh, it was yeah, the gas. Yeah, there was like okay, the fog, okay. wasn't there? Yeah. Oh, that's true. There was the fog, yeah. Okay. So we were like breathing in antifreeze, basically. Or breathing in uh, a substance that causes our cells to produce antifreeze. But you don't want your <laughs> cells to be doing anything, surely. Because then they're producing like byproducts which have to be excreted somehow or are we all shitting ourselves <laughs> <laughs> underneath each person's <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pile of shit right. <laughs> no it isn't because wow. there's a grating it just goes all through the grating oh shit oh gross that's... <laughs> thanks <laughs> Ali no that's not shit. you're not going to put good <laughs> money into this it's just got function uh, yeah no yeah cool and then I want but to like I don't and then, I'm I'm sorry, I'm sitting like I wanted to ask. Ah, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> You go. I basically wanted to ask about the um the cow. What did you imagine? Yeah, the cow oh, my what the heck. God. Also, what D&D monster is that? Like, it's, is it the ooze with the mouths? Oh, it's the gibbering mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Gibbering mouth. Yeah. Well, I just thought, right, like, so if cow got, flavored. Yeah, cow flavored ooze. If you've got uh. I just can't think of anything else now. If you've got... <laughs> right, so it's an old meatpacking ship, right? And all Obviously. the bits of gunk and stuff which you've hacked off these bits of old cow or, or cow-like stuff <laughs> um, falls through the grating into the bottom into the form of this sort of slurry, right? Yeah. And then that's all fine and good if you're just a meatpacking ship. However, if you were to then fill the meatpacking ship with humans who you want to keep alive, so you pump it full of this gas which essentially is full of sort of neurotransmitters and various different kinds of like hormones and things which are right. slowing down your metabolism or whatever. You don't know what it's going to do to a sort of cow, octopus, that's gunk nice. hybrid. Oh, I and like so that. The thing, oh, that's clever. All the muscles yeah. and everything could start talking to each other and forming this sort of weird... Everything You've thought this. about this, Ali. You've I thought, thought that your explanation think. was going to be bullshit for that. So I, That's really that's, nice. That's, that's actually yeah, really response nice. to somebody's question in chat. So in oh, terms yeah. of our backgrounds, um, Ali's <laughs> is... Um, who are you, people? Yeah, who are you, people? Why are you, <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> I mean, Do you have any qualifications? <laughs> Uh, Ali, yeah. has, we actually made a video together on brain chemistry, and that was, what was your undergraduate, Ali? Was it biochem? No, my undergrad was psychology and neuroscience, oh, and then no, okay, okay. Yeah. my PhD yeah. was in neuroscience. So. Neuro oh, okay. crew. So you're you're biology boy. That's why I will defer any questions that are not planet or physics related to you. Brain man. <laughs> and, and, I'm brain woman, so. <laughs> yeah, we've got two uh... people on the brain crew. Um, yeah. And then Shamini, what was your? Uh, um... I'm zoology, so my whole my whole character was genetically modified and borrowing doing things from different animals, basically. Yeah, what was that uh, thing that was about? What was the chromatophore? Cuttlefish. Yeah, mm. fish. Because the cool thing about cut the cuttlefish is that it doesn't look like I'm suddenly I'm suddenly this color. It. No. I mean, they use it for a lot of like, social do, like, communication more... as well. Simon, yeah, can, they, I, can you show a video if I send a cool video? Patterns on their Not skin. Easily. With... No, okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's always Google all... cuttlefish Spots. videos. They're really cool. Ah. But I figured, I figured, you know, maybe you could genetically modify um, someone to the extent that you, you know, you have um, sort of yeah, neurally activated colours on in 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 skin cells, which is yeah, basically what mm. they do. Yeah, I mean, because that's not exactly too far in science fiction, is it? Right? Like that same stuff. If you've got a past an ethics committee. <laughs> You know, you yeah. could a lot of this is you that could, relatively I think soon. you'd have to change quite a lot of the biology like of skin. <laughs> like the basis penal colony. Like con con skin penal does quite a lot, shit. but I feel like you could put a few chromatophores in there without completely yeah, but they do have skin I think, over. I think I might say that the cuttlefish and the squid, they have specific axons which which go from do the that part to the chromatophores and can control, control the it. So that's when yeah. they can do that amazing sort of yeah. start. Oh, wrote a thing, there man. was another thing that I was looking up that I feel like Bates, you did. So um, rogues have un uncanny dodge, which is they're able mm. to halve their damage, right? So I was like, okay, how, you never how would did you... That. No, oh, you... I, no, she didn't get damage. No one ever hit me. I didn't take any damage. I no took all the damage. Yeah, I didn't take any <laughs> Like, I just spent the whole time stuck in ooze. But I was, one of the things I looked up was either those um, the lizards that, like, push their ribs out like almost through uh, their yeah. skin uh, or yeah, yeah. The, the i think it's, no, it's not hairy hairy toads where they break their bones and their bones poke out through their skin as an attack oh, mechanism that's... and then yeah. suddenly oh that's interesting that's not wolverine I was like, that's not what, that what he was, was 
doing but i actually yeah, kind of prefer gross. that that's, that's super quite gross. cool super so gross. i always had the idea that like it would it so basically she was modified um with in like her Simonetti. backstory yeah so yeah. um she had and like i, I was i read up so much stuff on like how wolverine's claws like hmm. just out and like how because his claws are so long like where do they go hmm. because yeah. if you, you have a wrist Spend, right so yeah. if the claw, claw is there you, you can't otherwise they just come out so I basically decided that hers were really little and just fit like there. So they would come from there to there um, because length. it's shiv length, but still able to fuck a bitch. Right. Um, or the other option I had, which I couldn't work out how it would work, would be like, you know how like a woodlouse has like the curvy, uh, the like segmented yeah. body. Yeah. So yeah. you could bend your wrist and they would still do it. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Okay. I mean, just, you guys had a lot, I... lot more scientifically based characters. Mine was just a guy pretending to be a guard. <laughs> you didn't know you have spells until 10 minutes before we started. <laughs> how? So, it never came up <laughs> I mean, I to was, be fair oh, yes. yeah it's yeah through. but why would it <laughs> yeah I, well i didn't know how the scenario was gonna go i was no it was, it was my, my character was pretending to be a badass and that never came up <laughs> she's never mine anyone. really wanted friends and just oh, killed all people in her past that. so that was it's yeah incredible so, like what? you guys you guys managed yeah. to like you spent the entire time on that sort of mid-level beastie that was not supposed to and then you just yes, yeah, you just ate, 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 ate the boss. You just ate it. Just because I finally got to hit something, Ali. Whereas before, I was just rolling wisdom. Yeah, the ooze was like was shit. Very, yeah, the ooze was Wait, that's no, oh, that was so good though. Like, but it was good because it was like this cow thing couldn't do shit, and then the minute I got angry, everything went well for Rian. So, because so basically, the character backstory. The whole idea with Rian was that she's she's been like she was trained to be a weapon, basically, by like the people that she grew up with, and her being like sent to the penal colony for her, she was treating it as like a rebirth kind of thing, and being like, I get to be a good person. I'm gonna have friends. It's gonna be awesome. And then like she immediately gets shoved into this situation where she has to fight, and so she was really trying not to. And then that she's got really, really fucked off. Oh, so you, that was really satisfying. Like she being made friends with the brain weapon. Weapon. So she did. <laughs> yeah. Didn't um, like I know like being trained as a weapon like sort of is a sort of staple story thing. But Very does good. that happen? Like are there people who are so trained in reality that they cannot do anything to kill? I mean, I feel like um in a sci-fi scenario like this, you could absolutely raise people from birth to be weapons. Like especially yeah, I mean, I mean, if you yeah. think about like in I don't think about what life. people do in the world just because of cultural factors. Like right. it's not much of a stretch. Like No, but I'm just asking, does it happen? Indoctrination. Does it happen in this world that we live in? Not in the sense it? of like, you know, claws jutting out. I don't no, think No, I meant being trained <laughs> to be a weapon. <laughs> well, uh, I mean uh, I mean yeah. I have a thought in my head, but I don't know if it's really appropriate to say, but like, it you know Yeah, I think we'd nip that one. But um Simon, why? Yeah. How does the magic work in? Because your character is the magic user, right? Yeah. So how does he uh, use magic in a way that's scientifically? Well, I mean, that's why I picked a bard because I, you know, music has a like a direct. It's like jacking something into your brain, basically. It controls your emotions in a way that uh, very basically nothing else does. And if you can control brain chemistry, then you can control how people. If you know, making them feel better or feel enraged or you know take almost like you're being hurt by it. like if you've ever heard like a dissonant chord it's actually like painful to listen to so not like i was picking powers that um uh definitely with plenty of time to spare that were not like too difficult to uh justify um and then also stuff like you know if you could you, people can project their voice and especially if you use acoustics so you can create the illusion that a sound is coming from somewhere else um, how does that work is that that's the throwing voice thing right yeah, it's just, you know, you, you, you basically say something loudly and, um, you know, it only works in certain acoustics. But, like, if you... My background is a lot of singing in cathedrals. You'll you'll definitely get it sometimes where you feel like people are singing in a totally different part of the building because the acoustics are funneling. It's like a waveguide that's funneling the sound to a particular location. Um, so, basically, it's just a little bit of creative license with that. I would, however, also like to apologise to my friend Ed Dunn, who I based the character on, who is a singer <laughs> at Truro Cathedral. Uh, he apparently was in chat and was very annoyed that we used that moustache as the inspiration for the character. <gasps> Ed moustache. But, um, 
Yes, sorry, Ed. <laughs> people seem... Well, c can I ask people in chat, actually? Um, how did you find this? What did you enjoy? What did you not enjoy? Would you like to see more of this? Because we would certainly... Oh, no, I think I speak for all of us in saying we would like to do more of this as a regular yeah. thing. Because I love the setting that Ali's created. It's a really Oh, my cool. gosh. Like, being able to make that intro video and, like, just set the scene, it was so easy that to, like, pull from cool. the imagery. People also, are saying yes. Also, People are saying also, yes. Also, I feel like <laughs> could this bit that we're doing now, the D and D brief, actually be a Q and A because we've just asked each other questions. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, so yeah, if you to me and Charmin are also being like, Cass, we love you. I yeah, love that's the part of it. The but... chat. <laughs> Um, a link to the rules, Andy Hartley. I, I we can def oh, there are definitely the stuff. Rules. I mean, D and D five E rules are yeah. fun, but um, I mean, there's some books you can buy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, you know, and I would never rules. recommend you just Google PDFs of the rule books online that you can definitely find recommend. for free. But I would never recommend you do that. But I'm sure they're out there by some very bad, bad people. Yep, seeing yeah. some more stats. So I was trying to cycle through them from time to time just so people could see them. And with my... so yeah, I think the the decision to do theater of the mind was for the one shot was exactly the right decision. I feel like if we did this more frequently, having a map would probably be useful for us and the viewers. Yeah, there, there was definitely bits. a few points there where we were like, points where it's <laughs> useful, but maps are really I don't know. Maps are mainly useful for like sticky combat movements, mm. and I feel like. Um, especially in a sort of limited time of a, of a stream and not a home game. Um, you don't want to spend so much time working out your combat tactics. You want to kind of get get through the story more. So that's, that's yeah. my... Uh, that important. was basically a limitation of how why we wanted to set up the stream. Like, we definitely we actually found out that the way we were going to do it originally was broken two days ago. So we needed to wrap oh, yeah. up with a new way of doing it. Um, but, uh, Tech rehearsals. Tech, and then we had a dress rehearsal today when we found out a few other things that didn't work. <laughs> um, oh, talk of dress rehearsals, can we talk about my t-shirt and how annoying it is? <laughs> yes! Because I feel like this is a conversation that we've had, and I think it, I don't, I, people probably haven't noticed, but the planets are in completely the wrong order. And I ordered it and I didn't know, but like, that's Earth, that's Mars, there's the Sun, I assume that's meant to be Saturn. Anyway, <laughs> that's, um, so yeah. It's yeah. it's fun. Why is that a thing? I'm, I I don't know. I ordered it was cheap online. I'm, I feel bad. Thank you. I've just seen on the thing that you've made me big for that bit. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, Dan, I did not order it from Wish. I ordered it from Shine, which is um very similar. Uh, we also had two donations during that. So um, we also had a load of gift subs. Unfortunately, they haven't come up in my feed, so I can't thank the people who did it. I did see that. Uh, I think Red Pufferfish donated a sub to Pixel Girl, who was watching downstairs. Um, thank you very much for doing that. Uh, I, I'm sorry that it just hasn't come up who's, who gift sub, who gifted subs before, but thank you, whoever that was. Um, we had a donation from Bashton, uh, who's donated saying, please, please, please keep doing this. The first rolled Simon made was a seven, which is inescapable proof that this should be a regular series. <laughs> this brought to you by Seven Cult Gang. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Bashton. We would definitely like to do this as a regular slot. Definitely. I enjoyed that. Very cool. And Cass has very donated cool. as well to say, I've loved the Cass. life you've given to each of the characters. Ali's DMing has been awesome. I particularly love the ghost of Burgers Ali's done a great job. Great job, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Cash, you, that's really kind. You've done so much. Extremely Thank kind. you. Oh, and uh, Danvi, uh, aka Wheeze McGee, has just uh, he he has cystic fibrosis. It's an in joke in the community. Um, has donated. In joke. <laughs> so he has various aliases that are normally around Wheeze McGee. Um, uh, his Reddit username is My Lungs Don't Work. Uh, oh. So it's all cool. Uh, so he's donated as well, saying Bravo for a great sci-fi one shot. Thank you very much, Dan. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, also, there's some love for your shirt as well, Ali. I did, what is actually on your shirt? Oh, it's, um, the, uh, it's, it's okay shirt. to be smart. Yeah. What? What? No, it's not. What are you talking about? It's his it did. I can say a word. I, I yeah, did. did. Uh, no, just did. No, but it's, did. it's, it's sure originally it. from it's it? okay to be smart, right? I did a oh, science. Oh, I think it's oh, a science. Cool. Originally. Okay. Uh, something like that. How long would you say it takes to learn the rules of D&D? Simon, how um, do you think you know the rules of D and D? A lifetime. Nobody just... really knows the rules. It doesn't matter though. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's such a big thing. Not possible. Yeah. True like, question. No one knows them. Look, look them up afterwards <laughs> if you care, but just let the DM rule. You can. I mean, when I did first did a session, I think my first ever session with, with you guys, and that was a few. When was that? that was like, we we did it in ago. person. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and that was like, remember that? <laughs> I remember being very panicked about learning all the rules and like, you can definitely pick them up over the course of like half an hour of reading the handbook. Um, yeah. 
and I don't um, even think you need to read the handbook. I think watch videos of it. Hmm. I learned a lot of mine from watching D and D shows. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so yeah, keep watching us, guys, and you'll learn how to play D and D. Oh shit! Oh yeah, oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> um, uh, some, some, someone had said earlier about the 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 psychom often like being shoehorned into the story, and I wondered whether people would like more psychom in the story, subtly, mm. more subtly or not, or to sort of save all the sciencey explanations all yeah. for afterwards? Yeah. Because I was had, kind of trying to drip read it. We bit. had discussions about that previously. One idea yeah. that we had was basically holding up like a timeout card that was, I want to talk about some science here and then, you know, drop mm. out of the game to talk about it. We thought that might have disrupted the flow a bit too much. I think Especially it would have done. Especially the tension and the excitement, like... Yeah. Imagine if that oh. music had cut to like some kind of cheesy back. background music, like do 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 do. Now we're gonna learn some science. science. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I do. I I've got the feeling that like um, if we were doing it in a longer campaign, it would be mm. a lot easier to be like, okay, right, yeah, we've, there's been a lot of different science, but we're just going to focus on one thing at the end of this that came up and has come up in a couple of episodes before, and then you can have a good long chunk where you're not just like jumping between lots of different stuff. You really just get into the science of one thing and i sort of imagine that yeah. or dystopia sort of junkie I... that's an interesting suggestion could we they pre could we pre-record some psychom bits like focusing on Ooh. a spell or a trait or a feature and play that during like a break like that is kind of what we oh, all do cool. as well <laughs> yeah. a pre-recorded video that sounds great that's what our jobs yeah, yeah. are that's <laughs> work no 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 work no work yeah, I like that. I like that idea a lot, actually. Yeah, it's really good. And you could actually like have that. like you could have a couple of breaks, couldn't you? So you could have like two ten minute breaks or something, and that would give you twenty minutes total. And then maybe one. You could have bonus ones. Like uh, Edward explains bardic spells, and you could do it in character. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Rian explains the science spells. of rage. And, uh... If you want to infuriate <laughs> your foes, <laughs> just sing a sea shanty. It is <laughs> yeah. all the rage. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, I like that a lot, actually. I think that's really good. Um, yeah. How about a medieval setting with science engineering themed puzzles? Or any any setting, I, I agree. But oh, I think yeah. we've got a lot of cool stuff in the sci-fi world that I think Ali has worked on mm. that we could potentially But that doesn't use. mean that you can't, I mean, you know, sci-fi people can end up in a sort of medieval setting essentially just yeah. like having all their sci-fi shit taken away from them like they're just yeah. people right there. landing on a planet episode. that isn't as holodeck. advanced <laughs> oh, everyone gets a holodeck <laughs> star war star trek episode i just right? want to crawl through jeffrey's tubes That's all ancient I freak <laughs> Be, de be like Worf, just get defeated by basic doors. Like, you're on a really advanced starship. Um, I think it's. Off. I think I would say Ashton says, please RP Jeeks, can we have some more? And <laughs> yeah. I want to say yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm very up for that. Roman console, thank you for the bits donation there. Um, asking for more. Yeah, I think uh, we need to go away and work out when we want to do this yeah. as a regular slot. Um, because we all have lives. Um Ali's Do just, we? Barely. Well, I mean, barely. Ali's now responsible for like another life form, um, yeah. which is you know like a big drain it's a on your time. Captain Cow. <laughs> <laughs> He's brought into existence. Poor old <laughs> Captain Cow. You but, didn't hear what was happening to him by the end, but oh, I'm just glad we didn't have to fight Mecha. We, no, but we 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 survived. Yeah. We could totally go back and fight all of those people too. Yeah, they're probably cursed. Over the them. corpse of Captain Cow, you could. Yeah. The constantly reanimating corpse of Captain Cow. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Didn't tell um, us that bit. But, yeah, I think that was... No, it doesn't really work. Well, we had a good time, at least. I, I certainly I did. had a lovely time. Um, yeah. I also think, like, I always get the vibe, whenever we play, that um, we could spend just so long in one tiny sort of setup section of the game, talk, right? Like, we got through, like, two or three section setups in that game maybe even more but Did we you have, have 10 been, planned we could have spent like two hours in one segment yeah is that, so, what campaign, is that what a campaign is for that's what a campaign is for exactly right so that you can you can do that shopping trips we could do those oh we love a shopping episode oh god um, oh, I've got spend, amazing spend idea for four hours looking for a shop like last time um, is this, yeah. is this <laughs> they're not good at shopping in my game everyone <laughs> is this gonna is this vod gonna go on to youtube at all um, so <laughs> or we, be a podcast. We can save this idea. on the Twitch, so it'll always be available. Mm. I don't. Oh. Well, yeah. going forwards, I would. It, we sort of need to work out how we want to do this. I think Twitch is like the best way to do this 
as a regular slot. Yeah. We might want to turn it into a podcast. We might want to turn it into a YouTube thing. We we need to work out what works, I guess. Do you um, mean after? After we've broadcast it? Yeah, so yeah. like pute- after uploading it afterwards. Um, uh, kudos to DM for that consistent accent. Could you just say uh, fucking prawns for me? Please? Fucking prawns. Prawns. <laughs> I don't know why you want me to say that, but I... They, uh, <laughs> fucking prawns. These fucking prawns, mate. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's really good. I kept slipping into Emily's uh, American. You did. There was one point and I was like, you're going American. Yeah. But then I, because I was then doing bits with, when I wasn't as Rian with my accent, I was like, wait. And I'm pretty sure when I said punch me, that was not an American. Like, I was like, punch me. I was then, whispering. I kept going punch, American. Me, like, punch me. Punch me. Punch me. Punch me. Screams have no accent. I realised. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I realised, yeah, uh, uh, relatively, you know, as soon as we started that I cannot sing in a French accent, so the next character will probably just have <laughs> I my thought accent. I that was pretty good. I, I, I was, was really like... impressed with your French accent. I thought it was good. Also the singing, Simon. Oh, More singing, you. please. More singing. Yes, please. When you made your image your way out of that one, I was like, that's... that's oh, okay. we have another request, Ali. Could you please say, piss off ghost? <laughs> <laughs> piss off ghost. Wait, what's that from? I know piss that. Piss off ghost. Piss off ghost. ghost. No, wait, I know. Where is that from? Piss off ghost. It's called. Oh, no, but that's, that's, but that's New Zealand, isn't it? Piss off ghost. Piss off ghost. New Zealand's really hard. Piss off ghost. I went to the shop. I went to the shop. You just got to sit on yeah. like you have a cold. Like I'll a come back to you on that one. I, I was thinking. Piss off ghost. I, I, yeah, I love the that accent. So Where's that from? will be a character. It's from Thor Ragnarok. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's South African. No, no, he's Kiwi. No, he's not. He's Kiwi because he's played by um, the director. Taika Waititi. I still think, I feel like he's doing a South African accent. No, no, he's Kiwi. Taika Waititi. I thought it was South African. In interviews, he said he's based it on the bouncers uh, that that were like these huge Samoan dudes that you'd see on (laughs) clubs in Wellington. And they'd be like, oh, sorry, you can't come in for (laughs) capacity. So as you said, he's just a bad actor. (laughs) Harsh. Solar Emily, very funny, great name. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> uh, um, oh, I have a question. I, I wrote down science stuff as we were going along. Chemical smell, was that just the stuff that was like keeping us in stasis? Yeah. Or was there any particular chemical you were thinking of? Just just, just curious. Oh, God, chemistry. Um, <laughs> no, I know. Biochem, remember that? Uh, uh, no, is the simple answer. Cool, I great. Wish no, that's there fine. Was. I, <laughs> I accept that. I did. I didn't I mean, use any of my verses. I actually don't know. Like, what is the? What is the? Is there a hormone which sends you into? There must be something which sends you into hibernation. You can't just think, "Well, oh, hibernate now," and then push you out. There must be some sort of chemical which is like time to go down. Oh, what in the brain? Yeah, there would be. Yeah, I'm but, sure. But in the body as well, because it's got to shut down all of your musculature. All the, all the, <laughs> you know, all the. Emily's might, um... just put. Yes, it's called estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> um. There must be one. There must be one. Am I going to look this up? I'm going to look it up. Look it up. I'm, I'm assuming Let's do a Google. That Not finding much. Um, I, I'm assuming that you're... TCP. <laughs> that you're... It's chloroform. It's chloroform, guys. Nice. <laughs> Unless he said 2CP, in which case that's something no, very TCP. different. But... I, I'm assuming that the, the mind control stuff at the end, was that basically inspired by uh, cordyceps and fungi like oh, that? I mean... Melatonin, yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Great job, awesome. chat. This is with the science yeah, communicators. Well done. <laughs> Red pop for us. Red pop for us. I mean, Wikipedia for like talking about animals says that like at one point they thought they'd been able to induce hibernation by taking like the blood of a hibernating animal and putting it into another animal, but then like that wasn't able to be reproduced. And so it's not. Really, yeah, it wouldn't they're not be the really, blood. That's stupid. Well, people, common drinking so blood, many, so that makes people sense. People love but... blood switching experiments. There's oh. a whole like set of experiments about people switching between old people's blood and giving them yes. young yes. person's blood, That's and creepy. being like, "Hey, eh, it's amazing." You're like, so on that, is, but... um, so oh, Rianne was Path of the Beast barbarian. Stuff. So yeah. and one of Path of the Beast is where when her fangs came out, they they get like a muzzle. I mean, in in the thing, they form into a full thing, but. The, and what you can do is you bite someone and you can regain hit points as you do it. And I had no idea how I was going to, like, science that. Like, the idea that you could bite someone and from, like, eating their flesh get health back. But that seems so weird. Yeah. And then I was like, maybe it's just the adrenaline of, like, well, like biting you, someone it, gives you such, like, a boost that you get, like, almost you, like a health Maybe you drink their benefit. adrenaline. It's barbarian comfort food. <laughs> barbarian comfort food. 
Well, I guess, you know, but, but then yeah. that's the other thing, right? It's like this whole thing. Just eating, isn't it? The whole thing Correct. with D&D, right? And which we're going to have to square with at some stage, right? Is that your health, the health of your body and mind is not determined by a number, right? Like, because it's, mm. it's more complicated. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. get so, reset when you have a sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the the whole health issue. And I, so I always, I always think about that with D&D. It's like, it could be so much more complicated because obviously if you get hit in the leg, that's going to do something different to you than if you get punched in the eye. So yeah. I wonder if like there's something about that with the biting mm. thing. Um, Ashton is asking, do you think we continue on where the one shot ended or would we start again? We've we've screwed over the start, universe. Start again. These Anything guys are just- happens in the same universe. Know. It's we the same universe, right? Yeah. So, yeah, but like the universe yeah, yeah. is screwed. Basically, one day Ali universe. will be like, "You see a tall woman, a blue elf, and a French man <laughs> <laughs> descend. <laughs> they she have parasites like, and <laughs> shit <laughs> heading towards." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, terrible. Would you like us to be better people next time? Ali? Yeah. <laughs> Go for if your D and D character is oh, a terrible person. Selfish bastards. We're all in prison. I like I have okay. such a cool idea for another character. <laughs> question, I've got okay. a question for Simon. I think unless anybody else wants. So I actually didn't envisage the spaceship looking like it looks in the opening video. Um, mm. I sort of envisaged it like a big tin can, right? And mm. that, and that the central bit is where the engine is, the sort of core. And then the the, uh, the bit around it rotates, and that gives it artificial gravity. Is that how artificial gravity works? Yeah, it's just a ro you know. Yeah. The center of the effect of an acceleration, uh, you know, you you're, you cannot tell whether that acceleration comes from gravity, the the fact that space time is being deformed, or if it's coming from a, a, a non inertial reference frame, like you know, you just like a rotation. Experience it as a force in a direction, right? Yeah. So um, I was wondering how you wanted to do the um, artificial gravity stuff because that's like a very common thing in sci-fi that it's like it, normally it's ignored. Mm -hmm. Or you've got metal shoe, like a magnetic shoe, and that's all that yeah. does. or you've got rotating spaceships, um, which I feel like are very underused in terms of like, uh, if you want to have a rotating spaceship, well, how gravity changes as you go towards the axle to the center. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking that because none of you, no, I didn't allow you. But sorry, you didn't do it. You guys, you fucked it. <laughs> no, because because there were pillars, right? There were huge pillars connecting the floor, as it were, to the central mm. core. Mm. And I and it could, would have been possible to climb up the pillars and get and then uh, some way up it starts to shift to to non gravity right? Yeah. Uh, by the time you get to the axle, the axis. Sorry. Um, there's no. So that's zero. going inwards, right? Yeah. Surely. If you're going in. So sorry, sorry. That was that was what you were asking. Yeah. If you're going from the out out of oh, the, sorry, I thought you meant from the, the yeah, okay, yeah. I was there. imagining the other way around. But yeah, come here. Because uh, that's what you would have done, right? You'd have been yeah. on the floor and you'd have climbed up the. There okay. is um. I recently read uh, Rendezvous with Rama, which is a classic Arthur C. Clarke book, and that is actually one of the plot points. I've just remembered that, like, it's this giant rotating cylinder, and then to get from one end to the other, the way that they try and cheat is by just basically climbing up to the axis and then kind of jumping. So the well, that's Ender's Game as well, isn't it? The oh, battle room so. is in the middle of the ship, which is why it has zero gravity, and you have to kind of leap. But it's a non -stable Just thinking of Inception and the rotating. Yes, they do things like that. But, but, yeah. it's a, but it's an unstable equilibrium, right? Because as soon as you get slightly moved off axis, then you have a tiny bit of gravity, and yeah. then it's a positive feedback. Yeah. Right? You have to stay exactly right, yeah, in the yeah, yeah. But there could have been this awesome thing where like, someone like Rianne could have just sort of like zero G'd her way up above That'd the people cool. and then just launched herself like this furry cannonball. At, like, <laughs> oh, I this. have a question. What would have happened is when I was hanging from the things and the people were below me, if I just jumped down and attacked them then, would that be been really bad yeah, for the story? Below. I don't think they were ever below. Oh, they were I, did sort of, I did wonder if you guys were going to like, yeah, kill thought... them, take their uniforms, pretend to be guards, and then... <laughs> oh, that would have been away. smart. He was doing that. Oh, man. Too late that now. Didn't happen. Okay, cool, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but you did not. <laughs> Dystopia um, Drug, he said, why did we choose classes and subclasses? I, I, it was a coin flip in my head, by the way, about whether or not I was going to jump in that pit at the beginning. I was like, is this certain... <laughs> I nearly did it. If you'd done it, I'd have been right behind you. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to go on forever. I thought you'd have just been dead. But never just found the... Yeah, it's never actually just the void. <laughs> Every D&D was... campaign has one. <laughs> you yeah. found it. But you didn't normally find it immediately. <laughs> um, like in terms of choosing subclasses, I just... I've never played a barbarian and I really wanted to play a barbarian and I got the Tasha's portion of everything book and I thought Path of the Beast was kind of cool. That was all I had. That's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. I thought it was cool and I went, yeah, that'll do. And there's no spells, so I don't have to science the spells. No, it's just like, it was kind of cool. 
Yeah. Um, there was just an, another donation that's come in, by the way, from Edward. <laughs> Um, Edward. Okay. Edward. Oh, Edward. Oh, no. You survived. <laughs> Edward, we love you. Do you we have do. a parasite? Edward, we love you. We do. Uh, it goes on like that for quite a while. Then it goes on to say, uh, Edward, we love you. We do. Ha 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 ha. Pano No, il est chocolatine. Ha ha ha. French levels increased from 77% to 99%. <laughs> also, this was a great watch. I know TTS won't work. <laughs> Edward, Edward, are you thank French? You very much. <laughs> <laughs> Has Simon like massively insulted you all night? I have no idea. No, my friend Ed has uh, lived in France for a bit. Um, <laughs> he speaks fluent French. And has um, a good moustache. And has he has at the at various times had varying moustaches of varying quality. If um, he has that one right now, then no, he doesn't have that one right now. I think he, is he clean? No, he's got a beard at the moment. Um, but uh, it's, a it's a lockdown. Everyone's yeah. hairy in lockdown. <laughs> Um, right, is there anything else that we want to sort of touch on? Are there any other questions that people have for us? Oh, sorry, in terms of choosing class, there was a quest, active question, yeah, yeah. wasn't there? Uh, I chose Bard because I wanted to be Ed. <laughs> so she's out of really deep reasons. So we yeah. all class I wanted to be a rogue because I thought I could be kind of edgy and cool. I'm in love with Travis Willingham from Critical Role, and so I just kind of wanted to channel any part of him, really. <laughs> Not to be gross. That was those were terrible answers. Great. Are there any better, <laughs> there any better answers for? Um, there was a th so yeah, we wouldn't do we wouldn't do this campaign. I think it was inversion. Sai said that like, would we could we carry on? Could we start our if we do another one before this happens? So we haven't really fucked up. No, the universe. I mean, would we keep the same characters? No, 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 no. no. Would we keep no. the parasites? ready to attack at any moment. Ali's totally Ali, gonna are you going to keep the parasites yeah, ready. Are you yeah. going to like keep the world consistent? So that... It's the same universe, yeah. But might so be Ali's different time, the universe in which Did this happens, that? the thing which just happened, has or will Ali's happen. scheming or already. might be happening at the same time. Okay. So okay. Um, Cass has requested, by the way, in chat, that I read out mm. some of the uh, prompts that we gave her for the characters. Just so people can sort of see where we all came from originally. I said a lot of pi pictures of um, I gave her you female mood board. board. You I said, said a mood board on Notion because I'm sponsored by Dr. Simon Clark. And, uh... <laughs> you, uh, is it hashtag uh, exclamation mark shill or it might be exclamation mark Notion? <laughs> um, right. So what do we have? The 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 Cass's creativity with the character art from like oh. a really basic description to come up with something stunning or personality like stunning. Right, so, um, mm. Sharmini sent in short, young, pointy chin, straight black hair with a fringe and just below a like, like, terrible, length, I didn't know you were going to read this. Mean expression, oh, no. black eyes, deadly pose like they want to look, <laughs> they want to look like they could kill you but they actually look kind of cute. Teenage. Oh. Not overly I feminine. Think... Uh, Emily Please. just sent an entire Notion document. I did. Um, <laughs> And then my character is Ed Dunn. That's basically it. Is that what you put? Is Ed Dunn? Oh my god. Simon put no effort. He's a bard trying to pass himself off as a guard, so if he can make the uniform look a little ill fitting and giving a look of tenorish superiority, that would be perfect. Oh, phenomenal. Oh my god. Um, I just think of the backstory that went into all of this, which obviously no, didn't get used at all. Right, but, yeah. Like, mm. There was a lot of. Like, Earlier today, I was I, like, Ali, so this is the name of like the clan that I come from. And, um... I know, I was like, I'll, I will definitely include that. Oh, no, wait. You've <laughs> oh, wait. some goo. It doesn't matter. All over. <laughs> it's, a, it's a goo cow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I wrote a it's song. Right. <laughs> Did you? What? Sing, sing the song. And then you didn't sing us a song. That is the way we finish. Please, sing the please, song, yeah, Simon. Yeah, yeah. The sing us out, Simon. The character was, was put in prison because he uh, insulted the planetary governor's daughter in a song and then when he was going on to the prison ship he was involved in a scuffle accidentally killed a guard and so just put the, the uniform on and That's pretended it. to be a guard the entire time Classic guard. That's, That's so good. good oh simon I oh should we quickly it. do all our, our quick backstories things we're never going to play these characters again and then yeah. simon can sing our song because charlie i want to know what the fuck was going on with jet because oh no jet bungy. so Jet was was very prepared that like prison is full of mean people you've got to be really mean and you've got to be tough Otherwise, people won't, you know, respect you and they'll probably murder you. But she was actually just in prison for, like, embezzlement. She just took a load of money out of her job <laughs> for a long time and, and <laughs> it was not that tough at all. But she wanted to be. She's but like, then Brianne, you know, made her Brianne killed loads of people. So 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. Cool. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Sorry. Like, yeah. Yeah. I realized like, the value of friendship and they're actually like, it's <laughs> lovely, isn't it? Lovely. And then it's like, this man killed loads of people. <laughs> Yeah, that she did. That story was um, so cute. I was so. Yeah, that, that was nice. Guys. I like. Oh, that, so yeah. Rianne, like, Sweet. basically, yeah, was had no friends. No, none, 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 not whatsoever. And oh. um, she kind of got when she basically. Uh, what did we say? Her tribe. I forgot what I called them. If I came up with it today, um, they all were outside of the alliance, who are like the big. Oh, um, really? Thing. And so the alliance came to like take them back into the fold and send them all to the mines. And Rianne went out to fight the guards, basically. They were about to arrest them all. She killed oh, no. a bunch of the guards. Oh, but then gosh. also, and this is because, you know, classic traumatic D&D backstory. Yeah. One of, like, a, a kid from her <gasps> clan, like, ran up because they thought Rianne was really cool. And she, like, slashed him oh. without realising. Which is why she was like, uh, you can't right. be yeah. if I'm going to be yeah. angry. So, that was great. Um, I love that. Sorry. I and so, but, that. but because of that, she got arrested and sent to it on the penal yeah. colony. Oh. Rather than going with her clan, which she was pretty happy about because... Okay. She, they were angry at her and then oh, um yes. but she was like yeah when i wake up from stasis it'll be like new year new me <laughs> and i had all these ideas that like if she woke up and it was all kind of chill she'd just be like talking in a mirror being like you are strong you are beautiful <laughs> you are worthy of love and friendship and you're in control of your emotions but um oh, immediately there was this woman being like shh and oh, i was like oh, fuck, okay <laughs> no time for self-reflection now <laughs> okay fine new no, light year no. new me <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Um, there was a moment there where I thought uh, we were in the holodeck because Ali said, "You wake up, there's a short woman like crouching in front of you," and I was like, "It's happening again." <laughs> Stuck in a time loop. <laughs> also, Ali, we need to talk about your obsession with putting like things on people's heads to like get to their brains oh, God. because that's three now. <laughs> like. <laughs> I We've played other games with Ali DMing where he's always like a brain thing. <laughs> it's like, I calls it how I sees it. Like uh, you'd never guess you want to get to the brain chemistry. <laughs> you want to get to the brain. Okay, I promise brain you. Man. I promise you that it, it, that's brain. the last brain thing you'll hear for a while. Oh, like, I like the brain stuff. <laughs> the brain thing. Yeah. All right, I'll put a couple of brain things. In there. <laughs> for the most part, that will be shifting into other because that's the thing, right? Like I know. Yeah, sure. I know loads of. Loads of, loads of stuff but i know most of the stuff that i know is about brains but i would like to know more stuff about other things so <laughs> wouldn't it be nice to for me to make some stuff up and then for you guys to be like fun hey, science it's not yeah. possible <laughs> i'm actually really impressed with how good chats are at finding the science which makes me feel like i can be like i've got this spell cast it and then be like chat will figure chat out how it's science <laughs> Oh, that's... It's like science communication, everyone. <laughs> this, this, this Take what other people know and make tell other people about it. This community is just hey. the best. They're the best at finding puns and everything that we say. I was checking in every now and again. It's and all about the puns. Yeah, it was. There was there were some various polls, by the way, that were executed during that. People were taking polls. bets on whether I would roll anything over a twenty, whether <laughs> uh, at any point in the game. Nice. They, there was a yeah. problem whether. Um, uh, Rian would survive the final encounter. Yeah, uh, there were a couple, I think. I, I'm nice. Was that before or after my claws came out? I think it was before, because I think a lot of people were like, "No, you're not going to survive." I cannot believe that you dominated that. Mo like, that's a serious monster that you just shouldn't have been able to one on one. That. I mean, that path of the beast. <laughs> claws is super cool so each of your hands transforms into a claw you can use it as a weapon if it's empty we had no weapons so i was like this is great <laughs> and then you deal 1d6 plus 5 damage on a hit hit plus 7 if you're raging because you get extra damage and then yeah, once on each of your turn yeah. yeah and then you get plus two you get two attacks per turn as a level 5 barbarian but then with cl with the claws once on each of your turns when you attack with a claw you can attack again so i basically got three attacks with plus eight to hit and then one d6 right? plus seven and then i rolled well as well it made was... up for all the wisdom saves <laughs> oh i had a really good like oh the fucking wisdom yeah i'm so sorry who, who would you have that? mind controlled me if you'd put the thing in my brain would you I have taken over Rian? take it would have done wouldn't yes. you oh yeah. Ali, so <gasps> that'd be evil. That would have been so good i know i thought one exactly one shot, what you like, thought is it gonna happen <laughs> when, when, when yeah when she said bye-bye and then went i was like She's in someone. She is yeah, in same. someone in this room. I still right think she now. is. I still think she is. Oh, we've all got parasites in our brains already. We're, we're screwed. Yeah. Let's face it. <laughs> Parasite ship. Oh. Right. Let's um. Let's sing, sing, your, song. sing your song. Sing okay. your song. Sing it out. <laughs> let's wrap this up. Right. So bear in mind that this is a planet with very very strict censorship laws, and he got bundled <laughs> off after two verses. <laughs> Um, I base this on a sea shanty because it's me. Oh. <laughs> so because it's 2021. Um, 
Uh, well, Governor Tarkin and his wife are blessed with faces fair. Sadly, though, for his family, the beauty endeth there. You see, my lovely listener, I sing to you with pride of the Princess Johanna with a face like her backside. Ring ding diddle diddle die dee oh, ring ding diddle die do. The Princess Johanna with a face like her backside. The strength of a family comes in producing a strong heir. A problem when the princess causes all the men to stare. They cannot tear their eyes from her bulging bulbous nose. Never mind the prospect of taking off all her clothes. Ring ding diddle diddle die dee oh, ring ding diddle die do. The horrifying prospect of taking off all her clothes. <laughs> No. There were 15 <laughs> verses. They hold me away in chains after two. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we, like, we get a copy of that, right? That hasn't just disappeared into the internet forever. No, that's right? been copied to the People internet forever, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be oh, that's, wow. That's Simon, that was lovely. phenomenal. And your character was just. <laughs> You're now only allowed to play bards. I'm going to kill oh. your rogue character. I need to I need to get a ukulele and learn to play it. That'd be cool. <laughs> right, yeah. so Day thank you very much for joining everyone. Thank you um, to the people at home for watching and supporting this experiment mm -hmm. that we had. I think it was a success and we'd, we'd like to do more. It seems like you'd like to do more. Thank you for the donations and um, and whatnot. That's meant a lot that people have basically financially backed this. That yeah. will go towards more character art, I can promise you. Um, <laughs> that's so, all it was. That's that's all 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 it. Oh my God, yeah. yes. So uh, thank you, uh, you guys, for, for joining uh, and taking part in the DD, it was a, an amazing amazing time uh, playing with you i always have fun and i'm glad that we could keep having fun whilst it was on camera so um yeah with that um thank you very much for watching everybody and i'll see you tomorrow for some more xcom and we'll be back with DD at some point rp jeeks rp jeeks all right <laughs> good night everyone thank you for watching bye thank you